Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Longbore of the Chosen, shall we? Wherein we are request, uh, requesting, rescuing, uh, a soldier, it looks like. I can't remember, I think we're getting a technical out of this if we pull it off. We have on this mission, revealed start, except for our shinobi, uh, sheep say meh, will be scouting. We got Jakubek, uh, one of our two best rangers. Zetius, uh, I think I remember being a very accurate gunner, hasn't leveled up just yet, but already got some good skills with, uh, Ever Vigilant. Yatuwatu with the shotgun to the face usually, but this time we're on the stutter mag for mobility. Uh, fear of missed shots, I need to be careful with that. Sigma Bean for the hacking. Morpheus with the sniper rifle, and of course our VIP here. We've got a decent distance that we need to cover to get to the evac, but not too bad. Although we are, hmm, I thought we were on the edge of the map. In a way it's sort of worse because we've got this building here. Um, but trying to peek ahead a little bit, I think we almost definitely want to go to the left here. Um, probably down this way, this general direction and curve around to the right to get to the evac to try and minimize our chances of fighting we do have a we do have a good squad for fighting but obviously it's better if we have the luxury of picking our battles let's have a look over here and we immediately find a couple of very healthy Two gunners, actually. That's the whole squad. Hmm. I would love to snipe one of them to open up. We're not going to have Morpheus stand in the middle of the street to do that, though. Um... I can actually get him elevation this turn. He might not get line of sight to them next turn, though. But I think it's worth a try. Over here is obviously no good. He'll be out in the open and they might just walk in and see him. Uh, we're not likely to run into anything over here in the corner. It might even be impossible, but if we do, we've got the rest of the squad to back up Morpheus. Alright, so that's looking pretty good. We're going to move everyone down this way uh, to try and get in position to ambush these guys next turn. Um, I wanted to move Sheep Say Met over here to get better vision over this way, but there really isn't a good spot where I can keep an eye on those two and not be flanked. So I think we'll just move everyone over as is. I could actually potentially use this, like... If I put Jacku back here on Overwatch, we might get a good opening on them. Zetius can also reach a similar position. There shouldn't be anything over here. Like, the, the enemy squads probably wouldn't be that close together this early on. Um, but it's no guarantee... I'd like to move over here to see if there's anything, but then I lose vision on these guys, and I can't see exactly where I can move people to. I think... Uh, I think I should play it semi-safe. We've got plenty of time. Let's use our... Oh, our VIP is really, really slow. 12 mobility. That's not good. Um, gonna cause some noise if he goes through this door. 
but I don't know if it's enough to alert these guys. I could move him over here to start with, that's probably a good idea. Vinmars, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Played XCOM 2 before, nice, nice. Alright, so I think we'll start our VOP over here next to our sniper. I was going to potentially use them to scout a little bit, but... Moving out. They, their movement is really, really bad. Looking we'll put up. our two overwatches next to each other here. So if we get a shot, we get some shots. On it. And bunch of people up a bit while we're trying to stay concealed. Um, I could move Sheep Say Met up here, especially with Ghost Walker. But it's possible that, like, a drone comes over this way. Yeah, I, I think it'll be better if we go over here-ish. And we'll get vision on him again next turn. Never got farther. Yeah, it's a tough game. Sigma Bean, uh, you're not really here to shoot things for the most part. I don't want to cause any extra noise. This will do. Perfect. Alright, so we don't get to... S oh, here we go. Don't have to do anything special to see where they go. Hopefully Morpheus gets a shot. Maybe not, though. Let's have a peek over Bring here. And Morpheus can see both of them. Perfect. So we've got 8 and 9 health. Max damage without a crit is 8. 50% chance for a crit. A crit would do minimum 8 damage. Let's go for the 8 health one. Have you heard of a game called Team Fortress 2? I have indeed. I've played quite a lot of it. Um, so now I'm wondering where I should set up my Overwatch shots. How close can we get? Not quite as close as I'd like. I could use the light cover here. Zedius will have extra defense from being on Overwatch. No, I think that... I think... I think Zedius loses that the moment the Overwatch shot is actually fired, though. Um... I definitely want to go for this one-hit kill on the Heavy Gunner question is the follow-up. I think we go for... I could even potentially go for a double shot with Jakubek. He's got Executioner. Steady Hands doesn't really help here because we moved last turn. But I could potentially take two shots with Jakubek. So maybe I just Overwatch with Finally. Zedius? And either spam a couple of shots with Jakubek, or... Oh, actually I could go here for an Overwatch. That might make a lot of sense. Whatever you say. I'm on it. And if we have to finish one of them off, we'll do it with Yatuwatu. With a stun if we have to. Um... All that said, I think I would like our scout somewhere out of the way before they react. Now you see me? Confirmed. So Sheep Say Mad doesn't get stuck. And that just leaves uh, Yatuwatu and Sigma Bean with actions after we take the shot. All right. Let's -a go. Morpheus, please one hit kill. Fantastic. That would have killed this guy. But I didn't want to risk. Oh, wow. Well, how about that? 
That's a good start. And we can use Morpheus's Death From Above extra action to keep moving forward. Um, not sure why the music is still playing. Since we've killed everything we've been able to see. But... Regardless, let's not move too far forward this turn. Overwatch. So we don't spot anything else while we've got hardly any actions left. Morpheus can't climb here, just move down here. Okay, and VIP this way. Picking up movement. We hear something in the direction... Oh, there they are. Don't think we were supposed to see that. We've still got Ghost Walker up, so we should be able to go as close as we like. And we see two squads. What would appear to be a single entity is actually a swarm of oh, no. tiny robotic units working in close coordination to maintain a cohesive form. That's the last thing I want to see. These things are broken as hell. Does Morpheus have a shot? No. We've got this thing in the way, apparently. No, I think it's the truck. The truck is in the way. We could try sneaking around to the left, but if we get caught, it's going to be bad times. I definitely want to move up here and keep vision on these two squads. I don't see a scenario where Sheep Say Mare's turn is going to be any different from this. Moving out. We've seen everything but three enemies on the map. I'm pretty sure that... I, I can't remember, actually. The maximum enemies before reinforcements is either nine or it's twelve. Should probably try to be a little bit careful. Um, but regardless, we're going... We get the VIP to open the door, quietly. Yes, that was quietly. And we'll have everyone... ...run through here. No, don't smash the glass. Get some hide advantage yeah, with your done. overwatch shot. Zetius, probably about the same. Rolling out. I was a little scared something might spot us there, but not really. Uh, Yatu Watu. Run over here, please. Sigma Bean. Something similar. And Morpheus. Uh, looking at where you get line of sight on these guys. But also bearing in mind that your movement isn't that great. And I don't want you falling too far behind. We'll put you up here. And steady weapon. Oh, they're running. I think they're going to see us. We absolutely have to kill that thing before it gets an action. Get it together. Lightning reflexes. Yeah. Every Overwatch shot misses, pretty much. Oh, and it gets a free action for no reason. Cool. At least it doesn't get to use any of its abilities there. These guys haven't seen us yet. So we need to be careful about that, which is going to make it a lot harder to deal with these two. I don't think we can deal 15 damage, necessarily, without running up into this thing's face. I can't get an angle on it with Morpheus. Yatu Watu... ...can... ...just... Barely 
get into its face, but with cover between them. Probably counts as heavy cover, despite what this looks like. Okay, he can actually get here. It's pretty risky considering what might be over here, but letting that thing have any actions is also extremely bad. Because it will pull some BS out that it doesn't matter what kind of defenses we have, it'll knock someone out in one turn and make a clone of them. Is there a universe where I use Sheep Say Mare? Can't reach the Spectre, so probably not. Also, only 93% chance to hit. I could use Focus Fire. Kind of wish I could Focus Fire the Spectre. But I'll bear that in mind. We can also give Yatu Watu an extra action, but only before he moves. Do you stream it, and if you do, when is next TF2 stream? Uh, no, I don't stream TF2. Um... Really unfortunate that Morpheus doesn't have a shot here. Oh, that's a Grenadier as well. He launches incendiary grenades as opposed to flashbangs. That is two enemies that we absolutely can't give an action to. And they're behind heavy cover. Uh, I guess I could suppress them. I can suppress one of them, if I have to. Both barrels... Uh, doesn't say how much damage I can do with it right now. But I'm pretty sure min roll is bad enough that it might not kill it. I'm pretty sure we have to stun it with Yatuatu and leave ourselves in a really bad position. I could take a 78% with not a very good chance to kill in one hit. I'd have to max roll Max roll a regular shot or get a crit. So probably like a 30% chance to kill that thing outright. Can't really run the VIP forward. I kind of can. I might do that. A couple of 44% shots on this guy with Jakubek. If Morpheus snipes him and doesn't kill him, he'll probably be on less than half health. Which means we'll get plus 20 aim from uh, Jakubek. And we can, we can do this without moving forward and waking these guys up this turn. 78% chance approximately. About, call it a 70, 75 if I kill this guy, I'm much more comfortable sending Yatu to flank this thing. Um, so yeah, I think this is our best chance. Please don't miss. Oh wow, Morpheus. 16 months already? 16 already? I didn't even know that. Thank you so much, Mucky. How you doing? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so it's still a bit tense, but the move that I'm going to make is a very definite one. We're going to run right into this thing's face and hope that the enemy doesn't have eyes over here. If they do, we're going to put an aid protocol on Yatu, and we're still going to stun this thing. Alright, so run and gun. Could the camera stop? yeeting back over there, please. And don't wake up the other squad. 
Fantastic. We got a maximum of 9 damage with this weapon, uh, but we can stun. For a turn and a half, it only gets one action next turn. Now I don't know what to do with Jacobek. Um, I guess I could run over here for an overwatch shot next turn, and we can use both barrels next turn on the Spectra. Um, alternatively, if I overwatch here, we'll get the aim bonus against these guys, but the Spectra is just by far the biggest threat. It's practically the only threat. Like, that's how, that's how nasty it is. Um, I don't really see a good spot to run Setius to. Oh, those guys are literally going to see Jacobek when they move forward one tile. So... So I think I want Zedius here for the best chance of getting a shot. Um, we're going to run our VIP up here. And Sigma Bean... Cheap Seymour can't move, and we don't have any action we're going to use him for right now. So just go on Overwatch. Sigma Bean... Uh, just move up here. Why didn't they move? That was really strange. Um, okay, what are my odds here? 62%. What I really want to know is what my odds would be if I moved here. Weapon range plus 30%. High cover. Okay, it's in high cover. Even if we do it from right here, that's the problem. Um... If I move Jacko back here, those guys see us. But I think it's probably still the right move, because we need to both barrels first and see if the Spectre's still alive. Um, we'll probably have Zedius Overwatch and then move Jacko back forward. Uh, and the rest... Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> We've still got... 96% shots on these guys. That's just a trooper. We can't one-shot the priest, so I don't really see the point of opening on the priest with Morpheus. Uh, let's remove one more threat. Almost guaranteed. Fantastic. I should have done Overwatch first, actually, without Gunner. I might get him to suppress instead, actually. That might even be a better move. Alright, Jacobek. Move to the cover where you can get a both barrels. Maximum 19 damage. Minimum 8. So we have up to 7 hit points we need to shave off this thing after the both barrels. Wow, just enough. Fantastic. This mission's going very well. Um, so I'll probably have Zedius move up and suppress the priest so he can't do any weird nonsense. Um, depending on what we find, we'll move our VIP up, more or less. Affirmative. Moving out. We see nothing. And the priest isn't going to run backward, most likely. Even if Sheep's Amed does get revealed. I could potentially use Focus Fire here. Who has shots? We've got... Every, everyone, no one's going to get a flank shot. It's going to be against light cover, though. Uh, low cover is still 30. Negative 30 aim, though. 
I think I want to use one of Sigma Bean's combat protocols to... We could get a flank shot. Uh, but we'll use one of the combat protocols to finish off the priest um, after it uses stasis. But yeah, I can give uh, I can give Zedius an extra movement. Zedius could go over here for a flank. Uh, up to eleven damage. We can't one hit it, but we can make a start potentially. So let's use teamwork. And. Despite appearances, we can move over here and still have an action left. 84%. I could increase it by at least 5. If I take a token shot at the priest, I can't do it with uh, Sigma Bean. I was going to say if I take a token shot at the priest after giving it focus fire, that would increase the odds a bit. We can do it with uh, Yatuwatu. Let's do that. And who knows, maybe Yatu Watu will hit the priest. Alright, so this is a tiny risk. But I think it should be fine. 57%. And sort of more importantly... Wow. I That was a mistake too, because I forgot about Yatu Watu's fear of missed shots. But we got... Thoroughly rewarded for it. Max roll with the uh, stutter mag. Seven damage without a crit. Um, and it also added plus five aim on top of the original bit of focus fire. We've now got 94%. Didn't quite get it low enough um, to trigger stasis though. I could kill it with combat protocol. Well, not kill it. Like, there's a chance it triggers stasis. If it does trigger stasis here, though, it's going to have one health to go where exactly with red fog. Yep. That seems pretty effective. Um, we'll bring our VIP up to where... Actually, don't... Let's not get line of sight on the priest with our VIP. Come up here, please. And... Here we go. They can't run away, otherwise they would. They're going to use stasis on Sigma Beam. That is... Probably the worst move they could make. I think. Let's use Ghost Walker and have a peek over here. That's affirmative. And we Got find probably the last two enemies, but not necessarily. I think we'll park ourselves over here for the vision. Okay, we have a piece of loot I want to pick up. Shouldn't be too hard, actually. Let's go finish this guy off. Should be 100%. We've got Lone Wolf. We've got Point Blank with the Stutter Mag. Even if it grazes, it kills him. Which it does. It had like a 3% chance to graze. Uh, we should... Be okay to pick this up without spotting anything else. It. Laser sight, not that exciting. Um, I could move Zedius up far enough to potentially get overwatch shots on these guys, but there's too many other people not prepared. With Sigma being in stasis back here, well, that's not that big a, a deal. Our ranger isn't... Oh, hold on. I don't think our ranger is going to get shots, but if we go for maybe a less aggressive potential overwatch, 
And we'll send our VIP over here. A little bit risky, but it's fine. Stasis ended. And once again, they're not moving. Oh, these guys are unaware. They're just, they're just chilling. Okay. How close can we get? Okay, I think it would... Oh, wow. They can even see there. Um, the angles here are really terrible, honestly, to try and get a bit closer to Overwatch. What about getting a snipe? If they're, if they're not going to move... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's move up here with Morpheus. We'll steady weapon. And if they don't move next turn, we'll open up on the Priest, I guess. Since that's the only one we can see. Get Jakubek over here. Zetius over here. Made me think they'd seen us. That was spooky. Yatu Watu. I don't know. I, I think Overwatch doesn't count for fear of missed shots. I'm pretty sure. Got run and gun up next turn. I want you in a position where you can use it. Hilarious. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We'll put Sigma Bean here. Our VIP. I'd like to get our VIP close enough to get to the evac next turn, but I don't think it's really feasible. Did I ever mention that I love this game? Indeed. Um, and we'll park you out to over here. Sigma Bean, get where you can hack next turn. And potentially do something else. And Sheep say Mare, I probably should have done this first. Actually, no, I needed to keep vision on them while I move everyone else to make sure we don't get seen. Moving. I have a peek over this way. And come to think of it, if I want to potentially snipe them, I'd better be able to see them. But I should be able to find them next turn. Oh, they are moving. Seven damage to start, not bad. Very good, actually. And we get another flank. Beautiful. That's actually excellent. Uh, Sheep Say Mare doesn't have... I think I'm not supposed to be able to see this guy right now. Because I can't see the places where standing would get Sheep Say Mare spotted. So let's move someone up. Jakubek as Executioner. He could probably just finish this off. It's only a 54% actually. Zindo, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I'd like to have a little peek over here before using Flesh to finish this guy. But... His range of vision is kind of high. Also, how on earth did this happen? <laughs> Just the overwatch shot that went through... the wall... dealt this much damage. 
love watching it. Playing it is too frustrating. <laughs> I can understand that. It's easier to accept unfair losses streaming as well because it's content. Uh, what do we have here? Small supply cache. I definitely want to try that before we go. And it might not be the worst idea to just combat protocol. Morpheus has, has a 72, but he's this, our slowest person and he's way behind. I want to get him out. Um, I could... It's only a map alert if we fail the hack. So I could try the hack and combat protocol this turn. And sprint Sigma Bean forward next turn. I think that's probably the way to go. Even if there's still enemies left on the map, it's like three tops, or two or three, I think. So not having a combat protocol against a drone isn't going to be that bad. Oh, I didn't hack. I, sh mm, I was supposed to hack first. It only takes one action to combat protocol, but it ends your turn regardless. Okay. Um, I could move Sigma. This guy still reveals us, even though he's in stasis. Heading to that location. I could, like, move Yatuwatu up to point blank and set him on Overwatch for when this guy inevitably tries to run. On my way. And I could move Jackabat closer for an overwatch shot. Same thing with Zedius. In fact, Zedius? No, Zedius isn't that fast. I was thinking he could maybe get a flank shot. Well, regardless, let's go with this. And... This. And... A little bit of this, I guess. Almost everyone should be able to get out next turn, but we won't do it just yet. Also, blow up the car at the pump, not the pump itself? Really? Um, is he doing a stasis again? Yep. Oh, that's one action, though. We did take a scratch, but no actual wounds. Okay. Jackabek doesn't need XP that much right now. He killed a Spectre. Let's get a stab. Rip Priest. Stasis doesn't end, though, but we're already waiting for Morpheus to get out of here regardless. So it's not like it's going to cost us any extra time. Let's have sheep scout around on the off chance if there's anything left on the map. And... Jack Quebec up here with the overwatch, please. Let's get our VIP out. Sigma Bean... You're faster than Morpheus, so it should be Is fine if you hack this. Also, if the fire goes out next turn... In. I don't think that's going to happen, actually, but... We'll be able to get out fast enough. Pretty sure. Small surprise cage, let's go. And we got it. Nice. So it looks like this was the perfect mission. Kill everything on the map. Don't take any actual wounds. Complete the objective and get an extra bonus resource. Alright, Morpheus? I mean, Bean? Uh... It wouldn't matter if he's on fire, if Sigma Bean could reach the end. Wait, have we used our command yet? 
we have not. So it's a blue move to get into the evac for sheep saying there. Let's have Sigma Bean run through the fire. Everyone else into the evac. We might actually have a someone with a med kit as well. Oh, you're also on the fire? I didn't see that coming. Uh, as long as they don't actually take damage, it doesn't matter. Sheep say mare, please command. Sigma bean. And walk into the evac. And we're gone. Flawless victory. Every enemy dead. Beautiful. Sheep say mare is... No, that's uh, Jacobek. Is very, very pleased with this. Awesome start to the stream? Yeah, I was a little worried. Especially with the, uh... Even now, our enemy the Spectre. In the Good thing we had a stun. To destroy all we have built. To return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them. United in the Elder's love for us. A single casualty report, Commander. No... No promotions? For a perfect mission, and we killed a spectre and two priests. Bruh. That's a ripoff. 35 supplies as well, and we get a technical. Please have good stats. What do we got? Fei Yi. We've got a couple of people waiting on characters for names. But yeah, we've got... Sergeant with 80 aim and slightly low mobility, good health, good dodge. All right, well, this is going to be a shooter technical, I think. With, with death from above, interesting. Um, we don't really have abilities like extra abilities here that are very good for the class and combat intelligence is low anyway so I'll probably end up just taking like death from above and dead eye or something aggression might be good five more AP before we can get it without spending shared AP if the crit applies to um, biggest booms, the explosive crit, not affected by other critical chance modifiers, that sucks. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll just eventually get Death from Above and Deadeye. Deadeye with, like, a assault rifle isn't that great, though. Maybe I should... Nah, run and gun is 40 points. We're never going to get it. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure we'll just go with the standard shooter, uh, rocket user... Or the high accuracy and low mobility. Alright, let's go with this. And... We're not going to use pistols on someone who's already slow. Should I take one of these already? Dead eye. I don't know, I think, if anything, I'd rather just 
give him evasion. Just to be a bit safer. I guess we'll wait on that one. Alright, who's waiting for names? We've got... Zikra? And we've got Shmua. Okay. Just check there aren't any unused characters here yet. Not really. So this is going to be... Oh, paste it? What? I cannot paste it. Z-J-I-K-R-A. Z-J-I-K-R-A. And do we have any other unnamed soldiers? We do. So this is going to be Shmua. It's H M O A. It's H M O. Wait, didn't did I already name Shmua? I think I did. Yeah, here we go. Why have I still got a name in character pool there? Let me just double check. I didn't double name Shukra. I don't think I did. No, we're good. Who's got the Guile haircut? I think that's Morpheus. Yep, that's Morpheus. Who's had excellent accuracy so far. Okay. What are we up to with the strategic part of the game? We are training I Am The Sky on incoming. Uh, I don't really want to retrain anyone. Got scientist in the infirmary, four wounded. 31 hours, 17 days. We've got like two and a half people on 17 days wounds. Covert action is finishing in four days. Eight hours until this is cleared out. Do we have any missions active right now? Ooh, another soldier. Nice. Fingers crossed. And uh, looks like we don't have any missions going on right now. Okay, let's go pick this up. Avenger plotting new course. Sunira, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, by the way. We scan. We have... Protect the data tab. That's not what I wanted to see. And it's up against the sniper. Um... Who's our Haven Advisor there? Assault Rifle, Sentinel, 72 Aim. Alright, well we can't finish this scan before this mission. Uh, we're not going to get anyone else available before... Oh, we are. Midden. Midden is available in 21 hours. Uh, and is one of our best shinobis. Does have a negative trait, though, that we haven't been able to remove yet. So what was it? 21 hours? We've got 25 hours here. 
21 hours. Alright, should be easy to wait for Midden. Uh, just be careful we don't go overtime. Oh, and we have a room cleared. Um, two engineers available. Two places left to clear out. We've got 173 supplies. Um, doesn't look like we've been waiting to build anything. That's actually really good. We can buy a couple of better weapons and stuff for the next mission. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we want to build right now. How many Illyrian crystals do we have? 62? That's actually quite a lot, I think. Either way, we're not going to get this done before the mission. And... 16 hours left. 8 hours... Uh, I don't really want to click the scan button, actually. I mean, it would be good if we could just deliberately wait X hours, but... We can literally do that by just sitting here. A minute goes by in a second on the strategic map. I don't like it. But yeah, I basically have to kill, like, what, two or three hours? Three hours until Midden is... Healed. Let's fly over here. Setting course for West Asia. That'll be an hour or two, I think. One hour left for Midden to be healed. So by two AM. Might want to take some good soldiers out of the Havens, so they'll be available for this mission. My clack can stay in there. And here we go. Midden has recovered from their wounds. Fantastic. All right. Protect the data tap. This is one of the nastier missions. We definitely want Larius. Uh, and I think we probably want uh, Morpheus, our best sharpshooter. Can we afford uh, some proper sniper rifles? Or have we not researched that yet? What are we researching? Advanced mag weapons, seven days. Okay. Apparently we've got the chance to include uh, improve a soldier bond. That'll have to wait. Hilarious, get in there. Morpheus, definitely get in there. Laser weapons are the best we can do right now. Do we do we not have a better scope? I suppose not. Silencer won't help that much on this mission. Uh, Midden with a laser sword. Arc blade. It's not really a laser sword. Do I not have the better armor? The ablative armor? Apparently not. Okay. 
let's see. Let's load everyone up and see what we've got. A pair of sharpshooters might not be the worst idea. Except we're like seven days away from getting mag sniper rifle. Uh, 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 yeah, like heavy mag weapons, including sniper rifles. I don't exactly want to build a laser rifle for Stardust right now. Who else have we got? Our two rangers. Our best gunner. Where is our best gunner? Way down here, weirdly enough, Zelius. 74 aim. It's not that great. We do have... Uh, Jikra. With the... With the technical. And... I guess a gunner isn't that good right now because our best weapon for the gunner is a laser um, laser cannon. Five to eight damage versus five to it's actually worse than the mag rifle. Okay, so we got shooter, shooter, technical shooter. That may be a bit too much. We want a hacker. That's going to be Sigma Beam. We probably don't want the second sniper with only a regular weapon. Um, Yatu Watu. The reason I gave him a stutter mag before was we don't have the same same as the sniper rifle um we don't have the shard gun that will be available to us in seven days and i don't want to build a scatter ray to use for such a short time uh it might be worth bringing him in with the stutter mag still depending on our options Rorosaur is actually a really good shooter technical as well. Maybe it's not a bad idea to have a couple of them. Depends on our other options. Shmua, what sort of grenades do we have? Just regular grenades. That's not great right now. I think we can make a improved grenade launcher at least. Nope. I guess that's under heavy weapons. Or advanced weapons. What's Kevin's deal? Just a low level... Low level hacker. Does get neutralizing agents later. I definitely want that. But right now all he's good for is a couple of combat protocols. Which is not nothing, to be clear. Um, we actually don't have an upgraded weapon. Valerius still. It's not the laser lance I'm looking for. Oh, there's the advanced. We need four engineers to make an advanced grenade launcher. Damn. Where is... Laser vector rifle. That's what I'm looking for. Hmm... I really am going to have to buy some of these laser weapons, even though we're going to outgrow them quite soon. Well, I guess it could probably be a hand-me-down when we get another Reaper. But... 3 to 5 damage is not going to cut it at this stage. 
We also get five accuracy. Four to seven. Okay. Might have to strip inactive soldiers and see what we've got available. We've got nothing? Oh, we've got one scope. Eh. I might give it to someone else. Larius already has great aim. And the class has good aim as well. Let's get better throwing knives. Uh, how much is it for the throwing knife? 25? I think we could probably skip this one. Do we not have... Um... Oh yeah, our spec ops are away, aren't they? Skirmisher and Templar. Okay. It's going to be a very basic squad. Kind of. Now I think we should have a bit more variety. Sigma Bean and Yatu. And one technical. Rosal's got less health and less mobility than the new technical. Actually the same health. Alright, how many... Uh, let's see. Make weapons available. It's nothing but laser. So we need one, two... Two more mag rifles. We're down to 88 supplies. Um, let's check what our rangers have. Elite laser sight, elite hair trigger, advanced auto loader. That's excellent. Elite expanded mag would be good later, but they don't have the multi-shot yet. Elite hair trigger, advanced laser sight. Regular auto loader? I think we'll go with the elite mag instead. Uh, Midden, I'm not as concerned about your shooting. But you've got the arc blade. What about PCS? Depth perception, will conditioning perception. Hmm. I really want mobility on Yatuwatu. Potentially mobility on our new technical. But I could just give him a little bit more aim instead. Yeah, I don't think he's the, our highest priority for plus mobility. So we'll give him that little bit of aim. Also, come to think of it, he's got death from above. Or he will have. Oh, it doesn't actually give him an aim bonus for height. I, I was thinking of giving him depth perception. Do all of our snipers have depth perception yet? I th yeah, they do. Hmm. All right. Let's let's do this. We'll get death from above on this guy later. We'll give him depth perception and try and give him height advantage. Uh, Yatuwatu. Plus one hit point? Nah, you've already got lots. I'll have to hold out on that one. Midden. Hit points. Maybe? I think that actually makes a ton of sense, considering your class. 
and stats and stuff. We're going all in on swords. That'll eventually become plus two when we get that upgrade. Um, I don't really want Larius to only have 15 mo uh, 13 mobility for the sake of one grenade. Who do I want to give a scope? You can probably have a random laser sight, suppressor, and even a stock. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Am I dead yet? No. We've only had one mission and it went perfectly so far today. Alright, how many armors do we have? Uh, make armor available. We have four. And we can take... Eight people, is it? Yeah, these armors will be uh, relevant for a while. So I'll definitely make a couple more. Who's our most vulnerable? Midden. Uh, Larius already has plated armor. Our rangers with only 5 health, definitely. And... Is that actually all of the armor I've got available? No, we've got three more. So, everyone except for... Morpheus, probably. Okay. Do we have any AP for Morpheus? Steady hands will be nice, but it's gonna be a while. Combat intelligence very low, that's unfortunate. I could give him a uh, pistol aim or clutch shot. I think we'll just wait on that. All right, let's get some stuff on the stutter mag, laser sight, auto loader. And I guess a suppressor. Um, same thing over here. Should I buy another stutter mag if I even can? I cannot. Oh, what about the mag shorty? Who's got the better mobility? They're sort of the same because I've got rounds on Jack Beck. Alright, well, we can swap that around later anyway. Probably give it to Sloder for now. 4 to 8 becomes 7 to 13. That's a really... that's al that almost doubles the minimum. Makes it much more reliable. Shiny. I haven't given this guy any accessories yet. How about... You can have the scope. Auto loader. And hair trigger. Um... Sigma beam... Have a suppressor because why not? And same kind of thing over here. I don't think a shinobi is going to need an auto loader. Let's go for. I've actually got an advanced hair trigger here. 
Elite. Elite, I think. Here we go. Yeah, that's better. Someone should probably have some heals. Let's put Sigma Bean on medic duty. It's got the mobility to spare. Fortunately, I can't give you field medic. And do I want to give anyone... extra defenses or something? Maybe... Maybe Yatuatu? Midden. Yeah, Midden can be our tank. Potentially. Alright, that's as good as it's going to get, I think. I'm a little worried. Not going to lie. We do have Lick Wounds on Larius. I don't think Larius is likely to die, so steady hands. No, we never ended up... Oh, we want to save up for a rapid reaction. Alright, this this will do. Off we go. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. Good luck. It's a small town at night. I don't think nighttime matters for anything. Okay. Intel raid. These are nasty. So basically. Uh, from what I've seen so far, I would say it's worse in regular XCOM 2 Long War. Uh, not as bad in War of the Chosen, but basically, despite appearances, we really don't want to move these guys. Even though they're in the open. Um, if we take like one step to get to cover, there's a very good chance that enemies are going to spot them because they start ridiculously close. Um, to the objective over here. So what we can do instead is put people on overwatch, throw down smoke grenades, and hope for the best. Assuming anyone has a smoke grenade, which they do, it's someone with relatively bad aim and an SMG, so that's good. Throw smoke grenade. And then spam Overwatch up this end. Is that all of them? I think I think so. All right, so we've got one person with concealment. Uh, similarly, up this end, it's very easy to take just a few steps and run into enemies. I would expect some of them to be around here somewhere, and maybe over here. It would be nice if we could get Morpheus up here as quickly as possible. Doesn't actually have line of sight all the way to the objective, though. Alright, let's see what we can find. Mm. Over here. 
that's actually kind of terrible. We haven't found anything yet. Oh, I could use Ghost Grenade on Larius to make someone else, uh, give someone else stealth. It does end his turn, so I'd like to move him first, but even just moving to here, for example, could spot something. I can't use, sh I can use Shadow. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, please have a look, go over here, and this direction as well. Alright, that's actually a relief. We don't see anything yet. We can sprint forward and get overwatch shots from sensible positions. Let's get our technical up there as well, slow down. Sigma Bean over here. Yep, to what to? This is probably okay, but I could see something being over here and getting free shots. Morpheus, um, I wish I could see where your squad site, how far your squad site goes from here. Shadowy Ghost Grenadier Pal Hufflepuff Pew Pew. You. In indeed. I could probably run Yatuwatu inside here, actually. Okay, I think I'll put Morpheus here. And Yatu should be good over here. All right, we'll probably see them up the other end this turn. That's the Elder's Hunter. From what we've heard, he's a defensive tracker with an unnatural ability to call his shots. Better be careful. Not as bad as the Assassin, but let's see what kind of nonsense we're up against. Attacks mark their target reducing defense. Lovely. Ranged attacks deal more damage. Uh, much better aim against things that are flanked. We'll have to it's click on him later to see the rest. We get a bunch of overshots that we'll most likely all miss because he's got like arbitrary defense against Overwatch shots. Ooh, four damage. Good start. Jones Max roll. Going to make this easy for us. Keep your heads down and press forward. All right. To get to their location to take them out. If you don't take me down, you might ruin your legacy, Commander. He's actually got a uh, infinite vision range as well, so it's not like you can snipe him with impunity as you should be able to. Uh, Hunter can see and target any non-concealed XCOM unit if they have line of sight, no matter how far. Quick draw, near immune to crits, always heavy defense. 50% 50 50 less damage from dashing melee. Goes into overwatch after taking a shot. Immune to stun, disorient, and frost. 40 dodge against nearby enemies. Pistol attack disables the target's weapons. That just means it empties the ammo. Uh, better aim and crit against flanked things. Marks all things it shoots at. Extra damage. 10 aim and 10 defense for the rest of your turn. That's combat readiness. Gain a movement action or combat readiness after taking damage on XCOM's turn. And bleed out is a 100% chance when dealing a killing blow. Chosen is present. Okay. It's not as bad as it could be. He doesn't have as many arbitrary abilities to just not get hit or something like that. Uh, I need Midden to find whatever enemies are over here somewhere. 
Let's have Larius. Blue move over here. We still see nothing. And I guess park over this way. It's actually really creeping me out that I haven't found any enemies yet. Don't have a good spot to hide Midden to scout over here. But I think our main squad will obviously take this route a little bit to the right. All right, Sloder, hope you don't find something right now. That's good. Jackabek, park yourself in about the same place. Zikra, over here. Sigma Bean, Hacky Hack. Video feed or advanced PCS. We've got to try and remember to attempt the advanced PCS when we've basically already won the mission, if possible. Location confirmed. And yet to what to over Location here. Confirmed. Morpheus. I don't necessarily foresee this getting much value, but maybe if we see something in the next turn or two. Steady weapon over here. So you can get a shot. All right, so that just leaves our rebels. Who we still have to worry about revealing themselves to enemies over here somewhere, by the way. Um, not a fan. What if I have some of them come upstairs? Well, this guy has a grenade I'd like to get him to use soon. Let's park him over here and hope for the best. We see nothing. I want laser rifle, for example. It's only 65 aim, actually. Cool under pressure and needle grenades. I don't want this guy to die. I don't want any of them to die, but... There are reasons to prioritize. Uh, awkward. I'd love to get up here and get overwatch shots, but like... We'll get seen if there's something there. If these guys are flanked the smoke uh, by the hunter, the smoke isn't going to help them very much. Uh, it's risky no matter what, uh, but let's okay. move people a little bit. Overwatch. The Hunter doesn't use any area of effect attacks, at least, I don't think. What's over there? Oh, is this... Oh, there's a vision through here now. Uh, he could move for a flank, potentially. Petrov, stay in the cover. Yeah, hmm. I wish that was still smoke. We probably... Ugh. Okay, the edge of the map is right there, so probably... And there's these walls, we probably don't see anything through this window as we move by. I hope. Seems doable. Oh, thank goodness. Sigma Fire Bean watch. with the heavy cover probably won't get targeted. Probably. Let's do this. And last one. Probably move up here even. Rolling. Don't bunch up too much. Scanning. We also Rolling. don't have to risk getting seen really with that move. He's going after the objective. That's totally fine by me as long as he uh, doesn't end up destroying it. 
We also don't waste our overshots on his movement. Oh, wow, nice. Very good overwatch shots. Shield bearer? It's only three hit points, I think. Uh, added to the Chosen. That's not that big of a deal. Do we have any shots? I doubt it. With Morpheus. Let's go over this way. Let's see if we can spot anything. Heading to that location. Still We've nothing. Oh! There we go. Alright, Morpheus. What kind of angle do you have? Can't see... Yeah, I think if we get vision on all of them, Morpheus should have a shot. Um, the question is if and how we can do it while keeping Midden safe. Because they will react and move forward. I think we put Midden here and hope we have line of sight. We don't have line of sight. We'll put it off for this turn. Can the rebels do anything about this? Hmm, it's actually kind of bad. Ooh. Uh, we can explode this thing to damage the drone. That's not as good as I was hoping for. I need to kill that overwatch. I don't think I have a way because um, I should be able to move Maria over here. Might be able to grenade him. Rolling. Got to move through two, uh, two tiles where he can see us in order to trigger the overwatch. I was going to say we're one tile short on hitting the Chosen with a grenade, but we can just clip him like this. That'll get rid of his armor as well. Um, is there a chance we could kill the Shield Bearer first to get rid of his... three extra hit points first? I doubt it. I could try spamming a few shots, but uh, that's not that great. Oh yeah, how far can I send this ghost grenade? It's kind of line of sight. Okay. There could still be stuff over here. He could Ghost Grenade himself, but that's his whole turn. Also kind of wastes his shadow. This is surprisingly tricky right now. I think we should Grenade the Chosen. Then we can actually move people around over here. All right, please clip him. Here, got rid of it. Oh no, he's still got his armor? Bruh. I was going to say it got rid of his shield as well, but apparently the ablative protects him from the shred. I can get a flank on this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 damage it would take to kill him, though, so that's literally impossible. I'd also have to do it with the soldier I want to protect the most, bringing him out into low cover over here. Could get a shot on the drone with Larius. That's not actually cover. Huh. 
get full cover and get a shot on the drone with Larius. Seems like a good idea, to be honest. Oh, we see them. Oh. I can smell the elders' dogs. I don't think we're gonna have Larius stay here. A damsel. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Let me just give you the old shout out. Fantastic. Oh, and I think I was muted, whoops. Yeah, that pod really is bad news. Not even gone till my morning meetings, what? It was very lazy, but it was still a fun stream, nice. Almost zero projects today, it happens. Um, can Yatu Watu maybe get like a flank stun? I think that might be the way to go here. We'll also get potentially vision on one more guy. Hunt him down. Rolling out. Don't get vision. We've got a we've got a hundred percent to stun the muton. We'll almost definitely do that. And I could just snipe. We, we can't get uh, death from above. We don't have hide advantage. It says we do have hide advantage. Wait, what? Death from above plus nine? Oh, right, I forgot. It gives us bonuses for long range sniper rifle shots. Uh, but yeah, it's not actually from above. We don't get the action back if we kill him with it. So it doesn't matter if Morpheus does the first hit or not. Ragnar, sure thing. No idea what this does, just flexing. Uh, it puts you in the game. Where you will definitely survive. Don't worry about it. Uh, does Morpheus... I mean, not Morpheus, Midden. We don't have that many more actions right now. I don't think we have range for a rocket. We kind of do, actually, but it's not a very good one. That muton's terrifying. We're definitely going to flashbang it. Okay, I think the first thing we're going to do, because it might affect our decision, is see how much damage we get here. That's not bad. It's kind of bad, a little bit. It's, a, it's bad for a crit. We need seven damage to one-shot this guy. Otherwise, he's going to cook... I should have tossed a grenade from him to start with. But to do that, we have to expose somebody. Okay. I'm, I'm definitely stunning this thing this turn. Uh, which means, actually, that Larius isn't flanked? Basically? We could still go for the 97% on this drone. I think we'll do that. We only took the shield off. The armor saved us. Uh, Jakubek. Uh, I would love it if you could get heavy cover. But this will have to do, I suppose. I could get you to flank 
reaction shot at the flamer. Potentially killing him outright. How much movement does he have while he's wounded? Not that much. Eh. I think it's a little sketchy either way, but I think we should go for it. There's the muton. It, it's three mutons? Three mutons and a flamer. Jeez. Okay. We'll go for a couple of reaction shots, probably against the flamer. We'll try and get uh, Zhrikra in position for a good rocket. I can't actually break in through this window, though, for some reason. So I can't get him elevation... with cover for next turn. We'll bring him over here instead. And that just leaves Sigma Bean and the Rebels. I think we'll move the Rebels first. I could put... Oh, I should have tried this before. No, I think the armor would have... The ablative armor would have been a problem. If I could get line of sight, I would use combat protocol on the drone. 50-50 to kill it outright. We'll hold on to Sigma. I'll potentially aid protocol someone. Um, we definitely want to spread these guys out a little bit. If you say so. And we'll do this to soften up the drone. I probably should have done that first. Oh, it's almost dead. Wow. Okay. Get our laser rifle. That door's closed, right? Yeah. We need someone to flashbang the, uh... The muton. Who's got the worst aim, etc.? Out of who's left. 75 aim, but it's an assault rifle. 65 with a laser. It's not like I could kill the muton. I need to avoid bunching up or it'll grenade. If I go there, we get flanked by the chosen. I could go in here and toss grenade through the windows. Might be the way to go. Why? I saw a pixel. If I do this, I'll be flashbanging my own soldier. Here we go. Fantastic. Don't expose anyone. I thought this was a family-friendly channel. Maximally family-friendly. I still haven't killed the pyro. I don't think I can kill the pyro. What I might do is... Cover does nothing against him. And I... Well, the Muton could climb the ladder, I guess. I might get flanked with this guy by the Chosen, but I think he'll find a different target before he does, regardless. If we're very lucky, we'll drop the Flamer through the floor. That might actually be bad luck, actually, unless he dies. One damage? You're not much for At least we shredded armor. Um, and we'll get our laser weapon Fire. over here. Open the door. Probably take the 65 on the drone. Or I could grenade. I don't think we're killing the uh, shield bearer this turn, so it's probably better to shred the uh, the chosen. Away. And he's pretty much run exactly where I thought he would. That's fine. Who are we flanked by if we go here? 
apparently the muton can shoot from here to here. I gotta avoid bunching people up. I really don't want to leave our unnamed as yet specialist in this room. Or anywhere, really. Okay. Yeah, this is like kind of all bad. I'd move him here, but... Oh, that muton's stunned. He can't toss a grenade. This one... I don't know how far he can throw it. It should be okay. And... It's only light cover. I probably shouldn't have come here. 46% to control enemy. I think we'll take the two overwatch shots instead. I could come through here and flashbang the last muton. That's probably the clear? best idea we've had all day. Alright. So we've got two flashbangs and two stuns on the mutons. You might as well stop and that just leaves marks. Sigma Bean, who could deal two damage to the purifier. It's a shame he didn't take one more damage earlier. If I do that, then our two overwatches literally just have to scratch him to prevent him from doing anything. They've both got covering fire. So he can't take an action except for like hunker down or something without getting shot at. I've also not seen anything except for the one drone that's on one hit point that combat protocol would be useful against. So yeah, I think we'll move Sigma Look Beam up there. and almost kill the Purifier. If it went through the shield, I could kill the um, shield bearer as well. And that's it. Now it probably gets bloody. Come on, focus. Who's he gonna shoot? Hunter right oh no. Okay. Lucky he only got the ablative armor. Shield bearer's gonna gonna go after the objective. Drone's probably going to do nothing in effect. I'm pinned down here. Muton is going to take a poorly aimed shot, most likely. Oh no, I didn't think of this. Not even close. We didn't get... One of our reaction shots it's didn't go for the purifier. Muton's also going for the objective. Nice. There goes the purifier. You really think you can hide LSF? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. These guys still haven't seen us. I think we want to keep it that way. Uh, unless Morpheus only has, like, shots against them. He doesn't even have that. We'll be move... I don't know if I will... He's one tile off of being able to shoot them? In either direction? How? They're spread out a little bit. We can see them from here, we can see them from here. What the hell? And we can see them from here. This doesn't make even a little bit of sense. Uh, line of sight. Okay. So we've still got... At least we killed the Purifier with no casualties. We've still got three Mutons to kill. Yatu Watu can't really get close. 
I also have to worry about flanks from the Chosen. Oh wait, this is Sloda. Yatu is even further away. He's also got Overwatch on us. I wish I had one of my um one of my specialists with the interference skill. This is probably the best move Maria can make this turn. No grenades. SMG. 88% with it. Let's go. Fantastic. Don't want to move our specialist until we've gotten rid of this overwatch. Don't know how I'm going to do that. Maybe Sigma Beam must have burned his second combat protocol. Uh, we don't have a stun right now. I do have 84% tw oh, with the armor piercing as well. And next turn we get steady hands. Yeah, Jacobek staying here right now. I don't like having light cover versus the chosen, but someone is going to have it regardless. Alright, hit hard please. Fantastic. Now we have Executioner for the guaranteed kill. That's one muton down with only one person's actions. Sloda could not even get a flank on this guy with an overwatch shot next turn. Did I give Sloda the mag shorty? Yes, I did. If this muton wasn't here, I would potentially run him all the way up here to get the... Uh, both barrels. But I think Midden is our officer. And is way over here. Don't even have an officer. So there's no one to give him an extra action. We've got Shikra. Without an angle with the rocket. Um... If I bring Yatu over here, at least he's got Lone Wolf. And stun next turn. Really don't know why Morpheus doesn't have angle on these guys. It probably wouldn't be worth waking them up this turn to take the shot though. Can we grenade away that tree? Get this guy flanked. This is for you. Apparently not. Now where's the skill in that? Um I think we get a Covering fire shot on the muton with Sloda at this rate. I could also try getting Jikra closer to Flamethrower next turn. But I have to kill that Overwatch first. Can I run someone through the smoke or is it gone? The smoke is gone. I don't think we have another smoke grenade. Can I hit the Chosen with someone? Not likely. Larius has actually an 85 on this Muton. With armor piercing. I don't remember giving him armor piercing. Oh, it's one of his skills, isn't it? Your ranged attacks gain plus 2 armor piercing and plus 15 aim against units in cover. We get like armor piercing because it's in cover? Sense making. Up to 7 damage on this muton is actually pretty good right now. 
not useless hive, indeed. Uh, I'm not finding anyone to deal with that overwatch. I don't want to take like 20% shots. But I'd much rather take this 56. Or even... Well, if the Muton wasn't there, walk up to him and shoot him in the face after we get rid of the Overwatch. The Muton could come in and flank this guy next turn regardless. We got no Grens or anything on this guy. I could put him in position to run the Overwatch with cover. He's got 8 health. How much does... how, how much damage can the Chosen do? Four to six plus two. That's surprisingly weak, even though it's the first time we've seen him this campaign. Um, there's a very small chance Igor's going to die right now. now. What? Oh, okay, that works. Maybe it was animated weird. Because he should have been seen first on this tile. And then run the overwatch with cover. This guy doesn't gain anything from being shot at, right? Like a certain chosen wicked name. Alright, we've got 40% to kill shield bearer. 56 to kill shield bearer. Well, if it's a solid hit, that is. It has to not graze, that's all. So it's actually like 35 here. Um, I'd much rather kill the Muton somehow, but I don't see a way to make that happen. 40% again. I can actually get a flank on this Muton. Judy Gray has 74 aim. Muton has 10 defense, so it's like 64%-ish if, if we get him really low to kill him with Judy. I think we will take the shot with Larius. I loaded these charges myself. 6 damage is not bad. Not enough to even... I think even if he max rolled, it's not enough to think about that other plan. Um, we can move people around now. Yatuatu. I really want you somewhere where you can shoot something in the face next turn. but there's not an, a lot of good spots to move to. I think we probably should take this 56%. Nice. And that means... Igor is going to take a 25 at the Chosen. As expected. kind of want our specialist somewhere safer. Especially now that he's got no armor left. If he goes here, no one can see him, but the Muton could theoretically climb up and flank shot him. If he hides on the other side, he's flanked by the Chosen. It's a lot worse. Um... If the Muton moves, Sloter could potentially wipe him out. out. He's also got uh, Executioner for bonus aim on enemies on low health. If I bring Yatuwatu here, the Muton would have to flank himself to attack him. It's also got a lot of health, it should be fine. Double time. 
not close enough to grenade these two either. And here should be safe from the chosen for Jikra. Got it, moving. Sigma bean. I'm hoping we find something mechanical over this way to use him against. How much health do you have? 8, 9, 10, 11 with armor. I don't think Sigma's going to be targeted by the Chosen up here. And I really wish I had a, a ninja suit for Morpheus. But we'll try moving him over here to get a shot next turn. At least he, he won't have line of sight to the Chosen. That would actually be scary. Okay. Who have we got left? Judy, Specialist, Midden's just going to scout at this point. This would probably be a really good spot to scout and potentially do something next turn. Didn't see any mechs or anything. Uh, like, that seems to be the whole squad. So now it's just these three. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to kill Muton this turn or anything. I could bring Judy right into this Muton's face, almost. To try and force it to run. Or over here might be good... Hmm. If he was just a bit lower on health, I'd go for this. Let's get our specialists somewhere relatively safe. And... If I bring Alexei over here... Uh, I can't do preview line of sight right now because I don't have a proper soldier. But it looks like we'll get a shot at these guys once they move a couple of tiles and then they should scatter around here. They won't be very close to the rest of us and Morpheus will probably get a flank shot on one after they've gone to cover. And that just leaves Judy. What is with this loot? It's like not on the floor and not it's not on the ground or on the first floor. And I can't pick it up. So we have to win in three in two more turns if I want this. Bruh. Uh I could have I can't pick up this loot without being flanked, though. Got three turns anyway. Why don't you reload? Because if I move you into Overwatch, you don't get a shot next turn. Oh, that's not what I was expecting. And grapple. Oh, this could be bad. At least he can't see Midden. Oh, are you joking? Now he moves again? What? He double moved? What's... What's happening? I guess he didn't want to be flanked? The AI doesn't understand how overpowered the defenses for the Chosen are. Useless mutons, that's very, very good. Um, Midden, actually kind of... Kind of MVP for making the Chosen not do anything last turn. Um, we can flash for barely any damage. 40% to graze, actually, because of... Uh... Balanced? 
I thought it was because of the other thing. Near immune to crits. Infighter. 40 dodge against attacks with, within four tiles. Um, unfortunately, Midden doesn't have any skills yet that let him slice something and then move on. But we do have uh, Bladestorm, so if he doesn't kill something and then it tries to run away, he has a chance to finish it off. I probably want to go for this uh, Lancer, just because of the positioning afterwards. On the other hand, oh, I was going to say on the other hand Morpheus could kill the Lancer, but apparently like, once again he doesn't have line of sight to it. Supposedly. Um, so it's pretty much just 83% to probably kill Muton and clear the Overwatch. Or 100% to minimum deal like a third to the officer. Can we clear this Overwatch and kill this Muton easily? That's a 62. That is only 57, even with Executioner. Uh, if I could move up, I could flame it, but we can't. 45... What's Larius's shot? On the same Muton? 85% to kill, almost definitely? Looks like about an 80 to kill it. Let's go for that. Arius just sitting in this one spot the whole fight. I need more ammunition. All right, so that muton is gone, which means Morpheus really only has the one option. Um, we could try. If I slice the officer with Midden, he's going to be exposed to the Chosen. Oh, well, actually, over here he technically wouldn't, but the Chosen could just move. Actually, there isn't a... Hmm. There's this tile right here. Apparently, a little tiny bin is low cover. But if Midden slices Officer, Morpheus could finish it off. Probably. And steady weapon. One more ear for the string, indeed. We've got no shots with Jakubek. Um, I want to reload this turn and run him over somewhere, but he won't get... I, I, I can't use uh, Ever Vigilant if we use the reload, so we can't do that this turn. We can flank this Muton with a blue move. Uh, with a couple of blue moves. I don't have Run and Gun up. I could stun. Let's see the odds on this stun. 81 to shoot, 100 to stun. I think we'll probably stun it. Unless other people have nothing better to do. Like uh, Jun Zhao, for instance. Let's see how much damage Jun gets. 86%. That's a start. Um, we can have our specialist say hello. And have heavy cover against the Chosen, if it looks this way. 97%. One damage. Uh, I guess I should have expected that. He does have two armor, that's a min roll. We don't have... I, I wanted to get him low enough for Executioner. But it's not happening. So I think we probably just... I think it would be better if I move slow to somewhere where we might get a reaction shot on the reinforcements. Got it covered. And we'll just stun the Muton for this turn. Hopefully we don't have any trouble finishing him next time. 
done for a turn and a half. Jakubek. Um, I wish I could get this heavy cover with flank shots here. If only these windows weren't re uh, weirdly one way. We could get in here, could have come through here and had flank shots now. I could aid protocol midden. Slice him here. We'll also get uh, combatives against the stun lancer. I think that's probably the way to go. Nice. Morpheus should have an execution. If I can click on him. There we go. Uh, yep, that's a guarantee. And then we can steady weapon again for next turn. Oh, I should really have tossed an evac by now. Just realizing how vulnerable Morpheus is here, depending on where the reinforcements drop. So I've only got Sigma Bean, right, who can do aid protocol. Let's give that to Midden, if we can ever find him. There we go. And then we'll just overwatch or something. I can get a flank on the Chosen here, but it's only with an SMG. Oh, here we go. Oh, the low cover's a bit sketch, but it'll have to do. You're already in low cover anyway. Poor damage, very nice. Where's he gonna go? Um. Hmm, that's kind of a problem. Okay, let's try getting Jikra where we could get a rocket next turn, potentially. Location confirmed. Jakubek. Um, I might just get our rebel to grab this loot. Jakubek. Uh, Jakubek actually has the... No, it's the regular sword off. It's Sloder that has the upgraded pump action. Nevertheless, we might get a flank on the Chosen soon. Let's reload. And bring Jacker back up here where the Chosen can't see him. On it. Overwatch with Bean and... Scanning. And then what? Move up Let's and support go. Midden. I could grenade the Chosen. He could potentially fall through the floor or get set on fire. And I don't think anywhere he might I move to, to here would be bad. Oh, I think he did fall. No? Yep, yeah, what? Combat ra okay. I think he just took like one damage. Never mind. Uh, and let's get some Overwatch out of our Rebels, I guess. Oh, you've actually got a flank on the Chosen, but it's like 57%. If you go Overwatch, though, the Chosen's just going to move. And you'll definitely miss. Nice! Max roll. Alright, only 700 more attacks to kill the Chosen. Now he's going to be able to see Midden. I mean, Morpheus. I don't like it. So he pretty much crossed the entire map 
with free actions. Because he was shot. On the ground. What have we got? Trooper, trooper, mech, engineer. Minus one trooper. Very nice. That's not where I... That's exactly what I was afraid of. Ooh, lucky. Alright, Stun Lance is actually going to go and miss a rebel. Lucky. That's a flank. Thank you, body armor, and thank you, Sigma Bean, for the aid protocol. Okay, specialist. And deal, like, potentially only one damage to this. So I might want to use a different ability. Midden, probably slicey dice. Well, definitely slicey dice something. Could actually kill the mech outright. Almost, almost guaranteed. Uh, Stun Lancer is really vulnerable right now. It's probably going to be easier... I think Minden's going to have the best angle to kill this uh, sergeant compared to anyone else. I need to not forget that Chosen is over here somewhere with Overwatch on. I've actually got an 80% on the sergeant, surprisingly enough. Uh, but yeah, we really need to do something about that. The Chosen can see Morpheus. Morpheus can't see him. I really want this uh, Muton dead. Do we have any... Hmm. Sigma Bean could get angle on the mech. Apparently not. Yeah, apparently Sigma Bean can't hack the mech or... Combat Protocol it. It's looking surprisingly bad. Does the Hunter have Squad Sight or just Massive Sight Radius? Yeah, both. He's got infinite radius for Sight and Squad Sight. He's, he just does not care about range at all, basically. Uh, this is kind of tricky. Like, it's not difficult to deal with one thing or the other this turn, but... Dealing with everything or not being vulnerable... A bit more of a problem. I'd love to get Larius... To move up to get line of sight on the Chosen with uh, Shadow and shoot him to get rid of the Overwatch but I don't see how that can happen unless we know where the Chosen is first it looked like he was here before but that doesn't doesn't quite make sense oh I know he is there Sigma Bean can't move there Okay, so we can check line of sight. If Larius just goes here, you should be able to see him. Right there. He'll be flanked. He's not actually flanked, strictly speaking. I think we ought to go for it. Can I move somewhere a bit cozier, potentially? What is that? Oh, it's people. Yeah, I think this is a bit safer. We also get closer to him. Oh, the Overwatch. Ooh. Okay. Well, the Overwatch is gone now, but it's not like Morpheus has a flank shot here. 
He does have 100% though for 5 to 8. Um, but I think we should take Larius's flank shot first. Before he arbitrarily moves. I could also shadow and use a knife. But the damage is like nothing. Alright, let's go 4 to 7. Please crit though. 5. Not great. Uh, I gather Morpheus doesn't have line of sight here. He doesn't. Because this guy has infinite sight range, he wouldn't flank himself. Morpheus with the four hit points is not comforting. I can't really get anyone else over there. Bean is now flanked. I could combat protocol, get him down to 12 health and force him to move. Since we're not going to be able to hack or combat protocol the mech this turn. Oh, I can actually. That kind of changes things. I wish I could see the odds of hacking it. I've got, uh, what is it called? Trojan. It'll damage him when he wakes up. So just a shutdown is actually pretty valuable. Let's see how much damage we can do with this Muton and we'll come back to that. Wow, okay, that works. Good job, Yatuwatu. I definitely want to kill this Sergeant with Midden. Fantastic. Um, Sloda. Can't quite get a flank overwatch on these guys without flanking himself. I have to make a decision about getting Sigma Bean to try and force this guy to move or hacking the mech. Considering that the move might not be that valuable depending on where he goes. I think it's probably better if I move Sigma down here. And we'll have to have Morpheus run and hide. Gonna lose sight of him, but we'll... Just have to figure that out afterwards. If he does move, maybe Jakubek can get a flank. I think that's pretty unlikely. Do we have other ways of dealing with the mech? I don't think so. I could get some fire on this guy, potentially. One, two, three, four, five, diagonally. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can. It's only a trooper, though. If I could hit both of them, it would definitely be worth a flame. Also, can we kill this guy? 100%, 3 to 5 plus 2. It could actually just one-shot him. Oh, hold on. Let me reload. 5 damage, not bad. And move out other... It's actually got 100% on the mech, but not that much damage. Gonna be flanked by these two. Oh, this guy's already flanked by those two. I wish I could give a uh, movement action to Jikra. I could move here and do a rocket, but it's spectacular how inaccurate that can be. We may as well try Heading to, that location. to shoot this trooper with the SMG. Crit or max roll. Nice. Kill confirmed. Weapons empty. Can engage. Which means 
someone should have an easy time dealing with that engineer. Probably. I think we will hack the mech. Is it clear? Alright, what are our odds here? It's only 61% for the shutdown? Does it roll up, maybe? Also, hello. Hello to you as well. 67. That is terrible. Only 66 hack on Sigma Bean. Need to do something about that. Um... So I want this guy to execute the Stun Lancer, I hope. This guy can shoot the mech. See how much damage we get. Zero. Okay. Alright. Fantastic. Um... Can either of you deal with this engineer? No? I might have to set up Overwatch to try and finish the mech at this rate. I can guarantee deal 4 damage to it. Potentially 5. I might just have to go for the hack. For the shutdown. Considering all the actions I have to spend and there'll be dice rolls as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to try it. If it works, it'll change the rest of the turn as well. Alright. Two thirds, let's go. Oh, thank goodness. Good job, Sigma Beam. So it loses next turn, and it's going to take like 4 damage, I think. Let's have Sloda... Well, this guy might be able to kill it. In fact, we can go right up to this thing now. Should be almost a guarantee. Fantastic. And this guy... Should almost have a guarantee to kill... Stun Lancer. 99%. Fantastic. So now there's just the Chosen who is right here. We've got a whole lot of ground to cover. we got to get Morpheus safe. Um, and we can't leave anyone in the open because... They could get sniped. Technically, I could run Jacobek right into the Chosen's face. For an Overwatch shot that I'll probably just miss. I think he'll do, like, Quick Draw and disable his weapon, actually. Pretty sure he has Angle on him from up here. I mean, it's through heavy cover, but we can at least see him. That... That loot hasn't... I don't think that loot is actually still there. The, the countdown hasn't progressed forward. I think we actually picked it up and the graphic is wrong. I, we're not going to steady weapon with Morpheus. I think we'll hunker down I'm instead. I don't want the hunter to aim at him. Uh, and let's try to get 
a rocket on him next turn. Unfortunately, I took the best heavy cover to maybe make that happen. Light cover, perhaps? We've got 9, 10, 11, 12 hit points from one shot. Or I could give him aid protocol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Aid protocol for... Jikra. And... If the animation will ever stop, run him up here to the light cover, where he should have an angle to rocket the Chosen next turn. Sloda, dash over here with your Overwatch. Why are we still animating? Probably because civilians are running. Yep. Judy Gray, you're not going to do that much more. Let's go pick this up, please. And reload. What should we try this time? Oh, he's taking a shot at exactly wow. It's nothing personal. I to do that. Uh-huh. Seventeen. So, he's got Lightning Reflexes. Where is it? I thought he had Lightning Reflexes. Um, doesn't he have something that reduces our chance to hit him with Overwatch? Apparently no, not yet. I thought I thought he dodged a shot with lightning reflexes at the start. Am I just blind? Well, regardless, even without the lightning reflexes, uh, it's pretty unlu uh, pretty unlikely that our covering fire Overwatch hits him max. Like, solid hit straight through the heavy cover. Uh, Morpheus won't be having a shot, but he could... If it makes all of the difference, I'll get Morpheus to move up with Hollow Target to help someone else hit him. But the first thing we're going to do is say hello to him with a rocket. Shikra, if you please. Oh, wow! <laughs> that is not the outcome I was expecting. I guess I underestimated you, Commander. And here I thought the Elders were just exaggerating. Excellent work, Commander. We may not have put them down for good, but at the very least we've held off the Chosen for another day. Uh, that is, I believe, a flawless victory. I was not expecting this. Very nice. Oh, wait, no, Midden got wounded. Very cool. What is this? Sticking through the left arm? Perfect. I certainly hope our propaganda effort is not funded from my research budget. So that's two very good missions today so far. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. 
We are grateful to the elders for their support. Elders chosen are incredibly resilient. No promotions? Despite our victory Again? Today, we still have much to learn. Bruh. To destroy them permanently. How can no one get promotions? Morpheus has killed like three or four enemies outright with not a single promotion today. Alright, what do we got here? Improved Bond, Yatuwatu, and Sloda? Uh, I would say I don't see why not, but in 48 hours we might have an ambush to deal with. Uh, to all our brothers and sisters supporting the cause, you should know that today your efforts have helped our brave soldiers on the front line achieve another victory over the... May invaders. as well bond these two. And... Who have we got available if there is an ambush? Other than Sloda. Um, we've got Jakubek, Midden's wounded for three days, Larius, uh, Morpheus, Stardust, or a sort, well, that'll be fine. Let's do the bond now. Get some more, what is this? What? Negative trait acquired. Chance to panic when missing a shot. Didn't you already have this? Why is it showing it now? Anyway, we can remove that in the infirmary later on. Okay. Back to the strategic map, and we can finally go get the soldier. Uh, should be safe to put people back into havens for now. Let's go grab our soldier. Okay, what do we get? An assault. That reminds me, I think we have someone waiting for a name. Let's see. Ragnar. Uh, who have we got available? Lee May is our new assault. With 16 mobility, 71 aim, 5 health, and a little bit of dodge. That's more like what we're looking for in an assault. Grazing attacks, not that big a deal. Lone Wolf, excellent. And you've already got the AP to take it. That is perfect for an assault. Uh, low profile might be a high priority. Then again, 12 defense, even if you're flanked with Lone Wolf. As opposed to gaining 15 only when it's low, increased to heavy cover. Yeah, I think Lone Wolf is better. We also get aim out of it. Um, but regardless... I think there was one other character... There's our specialist. Uh, I think we'll give our new assault the name. Ragnar. Fantastic. Alright, so... Abilities... These really are excellent stats for an Assault. Maybe a little less aim, a little more mobility would be even better. 
but I definitely won't complain about decent pain. Disorient if you miss the stun. Uh, damage mechanicals. Or I could... I could go heavy on the point-blank shotgun stuff. Nah, the stun, the stun is too useful as, like, uh, having two different things that this character can do. Stun gunner. Probably go formidable. And... Do we want a bonus attack after getting close, or do we want rapid fire? No need to decide right now. Probably untouchable. Probably chain lightning, if not lethal. What about... We're not using pistols, that's fine. Okay, good soldier. 35 hours until maybe an ambush for our spec ops. Uh, what should we do in the meantime? We've got no supplies. I tend to keep things simple. Choose a target, pick up their trail, and then, when the time is right, I strike without warning. I think, think I'll swap out one Most of our engineers to, to get more supplies from our liberated region. And then... Advent Strength 6. That's kind of spooky. I think they're gearing up to invade. Intel... I think we've got enough here we should focus on Intel. We'll let our Hazen, Haven Advisors bring in more recruits. And that's going to cut it for now, I think. How bad are our wounds? Uh, worst is 15 days. It's only like three, four people. Probably skip on the... What do we got? Hack the hidden thingamajig. Interdict R&D. Hidden faceless aliens on each mission. That's not a permanent one. Very light three days. I don't like it. But random faceless on missions are not so good either. I could pay Intel to get this down to extremely light. And we could send a spy and a hacker. Let's have a look. Setting course for the West Asian Corridor. Depends on infiltration time. Alright, so Sheep Seymour is our premier spy. Also the only shinobi available right now. And we have Evan as our hacker. Up to 92% infiltration. Uh, only up to 138%. I think we'll wait and see if the see if it goes to 92 at the last minute and we'll boost the infiltration. Um, we'll only gain like two intel, but also the intel package if we succeed. Slums isn't a great place to sneak around sometimes. Uh, and let's maybe... I would take some suppressors. Oh, sorry, we can actually get to 94% with this. 
with SMGs. Um, do we want a smoke grenade to potentially help Kevin get out? Seems good. Not really seeing anything good to grab here right now. Jikra, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for exploding the Chosen with an unexpectedly powerful rocket. Yeah, we'll infiltrate this, see if it goes to 92% or thereabouts. That indicates that we didn't get reinforcements, making it harder. Uh, but that'll be after a little break. I need to hydrate, etc. Let's fire up some words on stream for the moment. We'll start words on stream in a bit over 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. So it looks like the sabotage mission finishing is going to be the next thing that happens. Good luck to Sheep Zimmer and Cavern on that sneak mission. Cooperation of these extremists will do little to unite the forces of your resistance, Commander. Oh no. Let's finish up with the words on stream. Rip. Okay. So, should we be gaining intel? I think we're done building, pretty much. And I don't actually have access... Oh, yes, I do. Heal faster. I think I should focus on intel at the moment. And we scan. And we find another mission. Okay, four days. Probably not going to happen. Neutralize target, get advent's attention. I don't think I want that at the moment anyway. I'd rather keep that region relatively weak. This one's very weak. Hopefully we can get some missions there. But if this one gets reinforced before that mission is ready, it could be a problem. Some aliens get bonus hit point. And commander. Oh wait, no. Our actions have succeeded. And Fantastic. Alright, Buvim, Crimson, and Glacier get some XP. Avatar Project goes backward a little bit. And I wish I knew what day of the month these things reset. Uh what missions do we have left? I definitely want to obtain a mech. I definitely want to gain ability points. I definitely want a mission with three soldiers on it when we do get ambushed. Which is probably not this one. Probably. Uh, steel corpses. We're not hurting for that at the moment. We did a uh, HQ invasion not that long ago. Supplies are always good, but not a super high priority right now. Yeah, pretty much mech and then ability points. Um, doing the hunt the chosen isn't that useful until we can actually do it all the way through, generally. Or if we're looking for a mission that takes a bit longer because we don't want the potential ambush to happen at a certain time. Alright, let's start with the mech. And we'll send Larius. And how about Jacobek? Failure 0%. Actually, how about our new assault? If uh two percent failure, I can I could just about stomach that risk. Make armor available. Keep the shotgun. Take some ablative armor. It should be okay. Alright. Let's go. Could you change my helmet when you get a chance? Either a hood or nothing. Not much of a, f not much of a fan of that helmet on Templars. Okay, Templar. Let's go. What do we got? Recon hood, dress hat. I think it's going to be the recon hood at this rate. Or maybe reaper hood? Reaper hood on a templar? Reaper hood A or D? Or recon hood? Reaper hood works? I think 
think I like A a little better. Alright, that's fine. And now we need to find a mission. Oh, okay. 11 days? Is this a trap? Advent strength is four. I can't remember how much they have to have before. It can be a trap. But I don't think they can set a trap when there's only advent strength of four. Eleven days is pretty suspicious, though. Evac with flare. So we'll over infiltrate the hell out of it. Make sure we have a quick evac in Setting case it is a trap. Sector 15, West Asia. Needs to be strength 8 for a trap. Okay, that's a lot. If that's the case, we can go ham. Since we've got 11 days, I would like this to be kind of a training mission for some of the weaker, uh, lower ranked soldiers. Who's Boobam able to bond with again? Crimson. That probably works, actually. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Um, so let's go with some kind of scout, which we don't have actually. Probably should have thought of that before I sent Larius on a covert op. I could cancel I Am The Sky's incoming training. But I don't really want to waste the time. Yeah, I think we'll leave it. So we're just going to have to make do without a scout this time. We do get a concealed start, right? Yeah. Should be okay. Um, I think our only... F we've got three technicals. Two of them are long range. I guess Zik uh, Zikra's range uh, movement wouldn't be too bad with an SMG, actually. So we're going to try and have you set things on fire this time as opposed to shoot. And Skirmisher Templar. Our low level but excellent gunner. Uh, where's that specialist? Haven Advisor. I think I'd like you on the mission as well. Uh, Morpheus is ready to go. Could go with Stardust. No, Morpheus is still a corporal, even though he's an excellent shot. Let's get him leveled up. Glacier Wolf can be the A team for the next mission. We've got one, two, three, four, five available. But it's not the best. It's not a bad squad comp. Uh, we've got Stardust and Specialist available to pull out of Haven Advisor. I think we'll grab our Specialist now. I am the Sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You are indeed still alive. Okay, uh, Zedius, Specialist, and Morpheus. And that's still extremely light, 152% with no boost. Um, that's fine, actually. Now that I've figured all of that out, let me cancel it all again to check when our mag weapons come in. 
five days. We're not going to wait for that. Okay, so once more with feeling. Vivim. Crimson. Zedius. Specialist. And Morpheus. And we might want to buy some stuff for them. We, don't, we can't actually buy anything, but we could unequip some people. Um, do we really not have plated Templar armor? Nope. Crimson's got a decent amount of health, though, and formidable. I forgot about that. And extra mobility, so we just trade that for health. That's fine. Uh, I thought we were able to make the better shard gauntlets. They're probably too expensive, though. Templar... Yeah, we just need supplies. Still on the basic bullpup. Um, this probably makes a lot of sense, actually. Can we get... I really need some plus hacking for our specialists. Or if this one's going to be a shooter, we could pr probably give it the plus aim. 75 as a Lance Corporal, that's really not bad. Alright, so everyone is good to go. Um, shouldn't need a med kit or anything. We don't have any guaranteed hits. Oh, except for our technical, actually. It's not bad. 15 AP. I could give you field medic, but most of the time I want you carrying a long rifle, which is going to make you too slow. Yeah, I think we'll hold on to this for now. Alright, do we have any more weapons available? There we go. Laser Sten Gun. Laser Cannon with some stuff on it. Don't want to steal the Elite Hair Triggers. I guess we will just go for the hair trigger there. Advanced Suppressor. Elite Mag. No, I think we'll go the Advanced Auto Loader instead. And I think that's looking pretty good. Oh, wow. Our shooter specialist is going to have open fire. That's really good. Especially for only 20 points. Should I give Morpheus some pistol skills? Mm, I really want to give him steady hands first. Alright, do we have any armor available? That's a yes. Can't give any to you. You've already got some. Zikra, definitely. And... I'll just try and keep Morpheus out of harm's way, I think. Because I definitely want to have some armor available if we have to field one more squad. Could give him AP rounds, but he's already slow. On second thought, no one's got 
any ability to kill armor. Really. In this squad. Oh, I probably shouldn't send Zedius. Zedius is tired. It's gonna get, uh... Gonna come back with... Some kind of PTSD. Let's send Glacier Wolf. Give him the same weapon that we just did a loadout for. And you've actually got plenty of health. Um, even more would be better though. Since your whole thing is you're kind of a tank. I don't suppose I could at least afford a knife? Nope. Where is it? Apparently I don't have the technology yet. For a better pokey poke. I could actually give Glacier Wolf the ability to throw smoke and shoot if he doesn't move with Salvo. to think about. Alright, I think this is the squad. Let's -a go. Almost everyone's in red except Glacier in blue. Fantastic. And we will... Hmm. I was going to say potentially find one more mission. But if we get ambushed in four days and everyone's infiltrating, uh, that could kind of be a problem. So maybe we should get some supplies instead of looking for a mission right now. Gain intel with Reaper Ready HQ though. Sector one, the Arctic. We scan. Someone recovered from wounds. We have a rendezvous. Fantastic. With Stardust, who only has the regular sniper rifle, but uh, shouldn't really be a problem. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, up to five uh, rebels Sector to help four us here. Four. Sector 14, East Asia. Probably four or five against one or two faceless. This is like the only Haven advisor, well no there's two of them actually, that aren't well equipped. But it should be fine. We've actually got a couple of rebels with laser weapons since we've got mag weapons researched. 186-2011, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Okay, we've got only four people other than Stardust, so we're probably up against... I'm pretty sure that means we're up against two uh, 
too faceless. Don't have anyone with good mobility, but we do have one Sten gun. Gonna be a bit harder to spot. Understood. Moving out. Let's go scouting this way. And this way. No need to ask twice. No need to ask twice. You can't run into the enemies on turn one with Scouting these cover. mission uh, missions. Solid copy. Let's just spread out. Okay. So we've actually got Hunker Down, or Deep Cover, and Executioner on Fei Hone. Seems good. Moving. Let's get some vision over here. Not as much as I was hoping for. Uh, doesn't look like we'll necessarily have any high ground for Stardust. Double time. Let's go to the corner cover over here. I bet they're going to be over this way. Follow targeting on Minsu Cho. Very nice. Return fire on Yu Ying Zhao. With negative 10 dodge and lots of health. That'll encourage the enemies to shoot at him. Um, he probably won't die, at least not in one attack. And he'll, he might get a return fire shot. Perfectly designed for this roll. Let's have a peek over here. We see nothing again. Let's get Stardust up here with... I don't even have a... oh no. I don't even have a stock, so we can't steady weapon. That's unfortunate. For now though, we'll put Stardust up here where he might have angle with sniper rifle. And creep everyone forward. Carefully. Looking for the enemy. We've, we've got some really bad sight lines over here. It would be very easy to get caught. Whoa, 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 what was that? Sectoid double snake? Did I think I saw something else? Moving on target location. Hold in position. It is indeed Sectoid Double Snake and is it a gunner? That's uh that is terrifying. For a for a rendezvous, this is looking really, really bad. That's a We're gonna have to try and be smart about this one. lost sight of them somehow. Let's go over here to take a peek. At least we've got decent weapons and a couple of our guys. We've got three laser weapons. I don't think they can come this far from the road with their patrol route. I could be wrong. And there's probably nothing over here. We might find the stationary group, though. Orders confirmed. Oh. On the move. In position. No, that's not it. Alright, so I really want to get some snipe flanks with Stardust. Get them to fight over here, if we can. is all pretty good, except I would like Fei Ho to be ready as well. 
I also want go. to know where the faceless are. Beho could get stuck if I move him up. Let's take our time. I'm on the move. And Stardust. Probably stay back here, honestly. Heading to that location. Scanning, I'm on it. Got it covered. We're gonna have to get on a gr uh, get a grenade on these guys to ambush. Otherwise, we're not gonna stand a chance. I think I'll hide Stardust back here. Until we're actually almost ready, because I don't want to cut. Uh, I don't want him getting caught in an awkward spot. Let's get Faye back around this way, and we'll try and get a peek. Oh, there they are. I'm sorry. What was that? A priest? And two others as well, other than the faceless. Moving to designated position. These guys are going to keep going the same direction. They don't change direction too often. So we've got priest, gunner, and I think something else, and the faceless. But they are... I think they're next to an explosive. So we might want to reposition everyone... To ambush them to start with instead. Copy that. Okay. We'll do. They continue on the same trajectory. I might get... S oh wow, it's all the way back here though. I'd like to get Stardust on this high ground. If, if we can get shots over there. Maybe I'm valuing the high ground too much. So there indeed is our faceless enemy. I think there's probably two of them there. We can... yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's showing the icon when we move to, to be able to shoot the explosive thing. So it's actually Trooper with 6 health, Gunner with 7, Priest with 10, and for some reason I can't see the Faceless right now. But we can indeed explode all of them. We're definitely going to ambush this lot. As opposed to the... the moving... group. Moving on target location. Can we actually see them all now? We can. The double faceless is pretty terrifying though. But I can't turn down the value of that explosion. Go, go, go. And Stardust. Let's move you back here and see if you actually can get line of sight with high ground. Otherwise I'll move you way over to the left. Maintaining position. I want you far enough away to not get... Oh yeah, you do have line of sight here. From... This tile in particular? If I put you here, you don't have cover in this direction, but the whole idea is... They won't even find you. Good copy, moving on target. You hope? I can also check over this way now that you're up here. Nope, there's stuff in the way. 
I guess that'll have to do. Alright. Bay ho Get over here as fast as you can, except avoiding the possibility of getting trapped. Minsu Cho. Over here, please. Huang Han. Right about here. And Ye Yu Ying Zhao. Confirmed. Right about there. Roger, I've got my Roger. eye on. And we're going to have to wait a bit because the snakes are coming back. I want them on the opposite side of the map when we strike. Good hiding spot. And we overwatch. Stardust, I don't think I want you to move. And everyone else is in a pretty good spot too. This one's definitely going to be tough. Ooh, they're going further in than I thought. Um, that's probably fine. We can still move over here. I want to keep eyes on them, though. We should probably just wait. I think I'll be extra paranoid and move Yu Ying down here. And we'll have uh, Feiho stay in the corner cover. Overwatch. Got a cover. Covering. Covering now. Can we keep eyes on them and get a bit further away with cover? Uh, kinda, yeah. These guys would flank us, if, but they can't even see us. Let's have Feiho move a little further back. Alright, turn around. Probably two more turns, and we attack. Maybe three. Let's keep eyes on them. Not next turn, but the turn after. We don't want them hearing the gunfire, if possible. And one more. Alright. Who should we open up with? I don't know how much damage it necessarily takes to blow this thing up. We could throw a grenade as well, potentially. I don't know if that's risking not getting the big explosion. I'm pretty sure the 3 to 5 damage... Who's got the worst aim? 71, 72, 70. Wang Han does. 
should probably open up with this. I could use reaction fire, but I want to make sure we can get away from the faceless. And we should probably get a flank shot from Stardust once they react, if they're even alive. Maybe one or two reaction shots would be good. I don't want the holo targeting to go to a random target though. No, I think we should just go for it. Alright. Wang Han, if you please. Explode all of them. About six damage each. One of them was killed. I hear snakes. I think they're aware of us. The faceless are both on four hit points. We'll probably be able to execute one with Stardust. We have 100% on Gunner. 100% on Faceless, whose health I can't see properly for some reason. And 100% on Faceless. Uh, that... Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that hit point bar. I'll take the one that we know we can kill. This way. Even though I'm pretty sure they both took the same damage. Good job, Stardust. I might have you hollow target, depending on people's chances to hit. Uh, what do we have? 81%, 4-7. to 7. I will probably take that as a 91% with hollow target. 88%? Even better. That's 98% chance to kill. And then we could have Minsu move up to kill Gunner. Ho can't quite guarantee knocking out the priest. Despite waiting an extra turn for the snakes to move away, I'm still a little scared if we move up that we're going to get spotted. We really need that to not happen this turn. So I think we'll take... The one shot against the Faceless, the other shot to kill this guy. And I'll take a slightly long range flank attempt on the Priest. Alright, Stardust, if you please. Hollow target uh, the Faceless, who is indeed on four hit points. And then Yu Ying Zhao. Please execute faceless. Fantastic. Minsu. Kill the gunner. And we'll take a not too likely. Oh, are you kidding me? How are they that close still? If I hunker, it's probably not good enough. Sectoid. Sectoid's a problem. We don't have a flashbang, we have a smoke. Gunner, double snake. I really need them to just be out of range. At least Stardust will probably get blank shot on one or two of them, maybe? Except his sightline seems to be down here and really heavily blocked over here. I could have everyone pull back away from them to give Stardust flank shots. Yeah, I want them to waste as many actions as possible. Hmm, that is arguably a waste. No, wait, it doesn't end his turn, does it?
raise a zombie. I'm actually really glad to see that. As opposed to mind control. Poison isn't too scary. A tongue grab would have been potentially a lot worse. And the gunner's there as well. Okay, somewhat lucky so far. What kind of shots do we have? 100% on zombie. And nothing else. That is not great. I can't run to the other high cover in one turn, but I can run to where we would get a lot of flank shots without high co uh, without elevation for Stardust. I do gain an action if we high roll and kill the zombie with the snipe, so it's not a total waste of time. We've got Overwatch and Sectoid close to each other, so a flashbang is a pretty obvious move. It's a shame I can't flashbang and use the hollow target this turn. Unless I can move up someone... No, not really. The zombie will die to the flat. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even mean to do this. Don't scare me like that. That was our only non-turn moving action we could take anyway. Uh, Alright, let's flashbang all three. Snake, Priest, and Sectoid. Remove the Overwatch, kill the zombie. And I guess it doesn't remove the Priest effect over here. I don't have quite enough movement on Fei Ho to get a flank. Uh, I could toss a grenade though. It's probably a good idea. Especially if I can hit the car as well as these two. It's a little risky going this close. They are all disoriented though. Let's get out of the poison cloud before our poison damage over time stops as well. Okay, so we'll hit these two, and there's a chance of blowing up the car, although if we want that, I think we have to really focus on the car, realistically. But worth a try. Doesn't sound like the car wants to explode. Could be wrong. Let's move Stardust up and either take a shot next turn or get to the high ground. And that just leaves Yu Ying. Who could move up to threaten flanking. The priest will probably run back like a couple of tiles or something. We'll also have a flashbang in range. Next turn. Might get poisoned. Might get grabbed. If poison, probably wouldn't even be able to move up to this low cover. But I think it's still probably the right move. I kind of want you in low cover so that you get shot at above anyone else with your return fire ability, but then it's probably just going to miss anyway if they're in cover. Yeah. Let's bring you up Location over here. Confirmed. I didn't throw the evac again. S 
stasis ended. Oh, he's going for the... F That's not what I was expecting. They don't normally flank themselves willingly. I guess he had nowhere to go if the sectoid wasn't going first. Is the snake going to curl up? No. That was surprisingly not that bad. Oof, unlucky. Believe it or not, that did count as heavy cover. At that angle. Alright, Stardust, if you please. Blank shot on maybe Sectoid. Maybe Priest. Not gonna, because he has cover. I'll probably go for the Priest, because he's already low enough to die without a high roll. Sectoid Disorient is going to end next turn, I think. Priest is out of the picture for one turn. Let's go with a flank shot from Minsucho. Maybe it's not a great idea to go that close. Maybe it's the best thing we can do, actually. I was going to say I'd be able to move Yu Ying after this, but Yu Ying needs to reload. I can't grenade because of suppression either. Can I get an evac here? This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. I think we try to one-shot the, the gunner. And we at least pretty much can't miss him. So that's the end of his suppression. Um, if I can reach with a grenade, I can kill... Well, just the gunner, actually. And I still wouldn't reload this turn. I wish I could see my odds if I do reload, but I'm pretty sure this can... Despite the look of it, this is heavy cover. Um, so not good odds to hit the snake. I'm not going to have angle to rescue if the snake curls up, though. With Stardust. So I think we should move. I think we just take the move that removes at least one threat this turn. And we can at least deal some damage to... I cannot deal some damage to the snake as well, actually. Alright. That's going to be one less trooper corpse we get, but it's fine. Loot destroyed as well, unfortunate. And I definitely want to move up to the heavy cover. The question is, do we grenade something? Probably not. I don't think I can reapply the flashbang to the sectoid and keep it going. We've got terrible odds to hit anything. I think we just grenade snake. Bombs away. Okay, this isn't looking good. It's not looking that bad, but it's definitely not looking good. I think Stardust can execute that. Mind control. Resisted, that's excellent. Hunker down. Much harder to hit. Bad ordering by the AI. I don't think the AI can do ordering, though. Straight through the heavy cover. Not even a graze. And curl up. 
so now we've got probably no one who can rescue. Stardust, can you hit that snake? You actually can. Uh, would be very lucky to kill the sectoid anyway. There's really only one obvious move here. 90% to at least hit. 35% chance, and then some to kill it outright. About 37, I would say. Please knock the snake off. Fantastic. Very well done indeed. Um, so you're still in heavy cover. It says you're flanked. It doesn't look like the cover was somehow destroyed. 56. I probably will just toss a grenade instead. I could get a flank on Sectoid, but I don't really want to leave the priest alive. Love Good Kelly. Day. Thanks. Thank you very much for the resub. Good day to you. Much appreciated. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And good to see you again. I think it's way too greedy to try and take the priest corpse as well. We'll have two enemies left, two, uh, Back on live. two rebels left. I don't think the sectoid can use psi powers two turns in a row. hit through the cover, through the hunker down. At least the tongue missed. Okay. Panic removed. And do we have a shot with Stardust? We do not. I can get up here to see both of them though. Let's do this. And even if we're not taking a shot this turn, we can hollow target to help someone else shoot. I can get a flank on Sectoid for 4 to 7, plus 2 crit. This one's also 4 to 7, plus 2 crit. Um, probably a lot more scared of the snake, to be honest. I have to reload. Okay. Well, only one choice here. 100%? Okay, nice aim. Let's use precision shot to increase the odds of a crit, or at least not a graze. 57% to crit. 57 chance... Uh, we could crit for plus two, wouldn't quite kill it. Really? You had like a 2% chance to graze that. Congratulations. Um, I guess I could have hollow targeted at first if I did the sensible thing and expected a 90, 99% chance to not graze to be a graze actually. Alright, we got 93% to almost, we've got like a, like an 80 to 90% chance to finish this off. And it's another graze. Okay. Sectoid's gonna... Sectoid. Don't really care about a zombie. Snake is gonna stay flanked. And curl up. That is the worst move you could have made. Alright. Um... I think the choice here is pretty obvious. Reload hollow target. Take a one shot to hit the snake. 93%. I could move closer. Uh, I think I will. Also, I forgot about the zombie for a second. 
zombie. I can't even see it now. I hope it can't reach this guy. 100%. Get out of here, Snack. Oh, and I can flashbang the uh, sectoid. So the zombie's not an issue. It's a pretty much foregone conclusion at this stage. Surprisingly nasty mission. Alright, can we get an angle? We can. Let's move already. Once again, we'll only be able to hollow target this turn. And... You're the one with better aim. I don't even trust this though. Oh. Hold on, he's already hollow targeted. Plus 10. If I take a shot with this hollow target, it's supposed to be plus 15, so does it override it? I guess we aren't finding out today. Alright, so we lost two rebels. Unfortunate. We also didn't get a whole lot of corpses out of that. And that's not counting the two rebels that we were already down because they were faceless. The bad luck on that detection? Yeah. I thought I was being ridiculously careful with that positioning. Alright. We promote... Uh... Hey, we got Long Watch on Stardust. And pretty soon we'll get Cool Under Pressure. For Long Watch crit with plus 10 aim more than making up for your relatively low aim as a sniper. On manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Okay. So... Now we've got no one left here. Back to recruiting. I'm not entirely sure what I'll do with this world. If this gets to 90-something percent, and this is still strength 4... We'll trigger that mission with a boost. Setting course for the Arctic Territories. And we scan. And 92%. Fantastic. Very light still. Oof. Well, I think we have to try. So two sneaky sneaks versus up to 12 enemies. 10 to 12 enemies. Evac with Flare. It's probably going to be like three turns. At least we have a spy with Ghost Walker. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. We've also got a. Expect hostile resistance. Bonus defense if sheep gets exposed for a couple of turns. Okay, this is actually looking really good, potentially. We've got high ground up here that we can drop down from, where we'll definitely have line of sight 
to hack the objective. As long as our path up to that high ground isn't blocked, this should be a relatively easy mission. Rolling. Enemy sighted. That's not what I want to see. I can't get to a ladder on this side. Uh, the nearest ladder is way over here. And then there's probably one way over here as well. Let's get sheep Closing to have a peek over out. here. Enemy patrol on the move. And that's a drone. That's two different squads. Otherwise we wouldn't have got those notifications. So the drone could go anywhere. Uh, I think we want to head back around this way. And stay... Pretty far away from them. I'm on the move. They're going exactly where I would like them not to go. I could maybe try climbing up on the other side. I also didn't get to see where the drone went, which is concerning to say the least. We could also hack way over here, but we don't have a hiding place. I guess I could hide Cavern inside this building. It's probably pretty risky to get in there though, because it's on top of the objective. I think I should use Ghost Walker already. In. Okay. See if we can find that drone. There it is. Alright, we've got all of the information now. And they seem to be going away, which is great. I don't want to be too greedy and try and get up that ladder at this stage, though. I'm pretty sure we should be okay to put Cavern over here. What's our evac time? Four turns. That's kind of nasty. Good to go. Alright, they continue. Drone is going where? That's what I want to see. I really don't think we're going to be able to get up that ladder though. Moving out. Another Got squad? squad right on top of each other? Heading in the other direction? That's one, two, three, four, five enemies. If we're lucky, that's half the map. I could try moving Cavern up to get some line of sight. Oh. I have eyes on the enemy. That's not what I want to see. But I, what I do want to see is how easy it is to hack this. If I could just get up here. If we had, um... If we had grappling hooks, this would actually be the easiest hack mission I've ever seen. Um, that's an that's a big if. We've only got six turns left to win as well. It's a pretty big risk, but I could move Cavern up here. Those guys should keep going that way. If there's like a drone here, it's game over. We're going to lose Ghost Walker next turn as well. If I had unlimited time, I could almost definitely pull this off because of the terrain. But it's looking very, very bad. I could potentially... If I can get Cavern to where he could sprint into range and then use teamwork, that would work. Remember someone who put grappling hooks on snipers? Yeah, they're very, very good. You even get to keep the uh, 
steady weapon buff, oddly enough, if you use the grapple with the sniper rifle. If only this freaking... If, if this thing right here was in the map, two tiles, two tiles further in, this would be a very easy mission. How far can they move? Pretty sure it shows the leader first. So they can't flank a uh, cavern if I move him up. But it's still extremely risky. I could give him his movement point now. We've also got a command. Uh, if Sheep Say Mare ends his turn here, though, that could be pretty risky, to say the least. Moving to designated coordinates. I think this is the best we can do right now. On my way. Okay, that's good. Now, just don't get us stuck over here with the other lot. I think they're too far away. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enemies, I think. All right, sheep. Make the obvious move. Looks like there's nothing over here. Cavern. Where can sheep move up to? That's pretty risky. We'll have Ghostwalker in two turns. I think we just stay here with Sheep, move Cavern to this spot, where he can actually hack. Oh, it's even worse than I realized, because Sky Ranger comes in four turns, and we have to hack in five or four turns, I think. We're, like, already out of time, basically. Unless we hack and then hide, which is dangerous to say the least. Uh, the enemy are going to be alerted and know approximately where we are. Got it. Moving. I can try to get Kevin to where the he'll be able to hack and hide. Potentially, theoretically. Or I could spend teamwork this turn. And maybe Kevin could go like here. And potentially like hide in the corner. Can't quite hide behind this thing. That would have been really helpful. Uh, literally, if the edge of the map was a couple of tiles to the right. This would be very easy. Yeah, keep going, exactly. Alright, Kevin, park yourself way over here and probably find more enemies at the back even. Oh? They're going further away? It's not theoretically impossible. Someone just went through a door way over to the left. So... If I park Cavern... somewhere like here... It can be done if they don't find us. It's so risky. 
but letting this mission go unfinished is also really bad. I could also give Kevin an extra action this turn. But then that's the last time. What's this hack do? Nothing particularly useful. I can almost... Well, if he stands in the open, I can find a spot where Kevin can't actually be seen. And then we could move him back like this. But in that case, he may as well just move here in one go. If there's something over here, he's super dead. I could also go back here and hack, but that's like super exposed if they run over here. That pole is a problem. I could go here. Hmm. They would almost definitely see him next turn. And he wouldn't have high cover. Hold up. They can't see him from here? We probably find some enemies over this way. At least we would know before we do the hack. And if we do find enemies... We'll probably just come up here, evac, without finishing the mission. And we'll just have to deal with random faceless on missions for a month. Moving I think that's probably the best. We didn't find anything. Okay. This is spooky to say the least. Pack the objective. And I guess we'll try for the supplies. So now the goal is don't die for a few turns. Um, I could... I think Sheep Same Air should probably stay here. I can already dash to the evac. Oh, you're joking. The evac's bugged. Uh, I'm gonna have to throw the evac again. And that would reveal Sheep. I was planning on giving having an extra uh, an extra action to go back here this turn regardless so I think what I'll do is command and we'll toss an evac behind the heavy cover over here Requesting immediate evac. please don't disappear randomly And why can't I see? Hold up. I was able to see three of these guys before. So I could tell if. Okay. I'm pretty sure if I run over here, I can't get spotted from that angle anyway. If I go too close to the civvies, they'll yell. I think I just have to run straight over here and hope. Hope that we're not spotted. Stay out in the open. They're not moving fast for some reason. 
Oh, one tile. And Overwatch. They would get random free actions at a time like this. Okay. I think the move here for Cavern is to aid protocol himself and then try to move back behind the heavy cover. Sheep say mare can't actually go anywhere either. This is worse. Oh wait, we've got we've got Ghost Walker. Definitely pop that this turn. Hiding out. What? What? Does Ghost Walker just not work on this guy? Okay. Which means the only way sheep can go is to sprint through here to not get caught. Okay. Sheep is not going to be able to... I, I, I doubt I could have done it anyway. Maybe I could have. I was hoping I could move sheep over here and then flesh with uh, Shadow Step to maybe help. It wouldn't have been a great idea regardless. Maybe I should just try and sprint the Overwatch without the... Um, 85 aim, 3 to 7 damage. He could kill. It has to crit, though. I don't think he can... I don't think he can crit with an overwatch shot. So if Cavern runs over here to where they can't get line of sight next turn, even if he gets hit, there's some chance of survival. Assuming he doesn't run into anyone else, which he probably will pretty soon. If the Overwatch shot misses, which isn't terribly likely, considering he's out in the open. Um, then he'll have good movement to run around trying not to get caught for three whole turns. I could step here and hunker. It wouldn't trigger the Overwatch. He'd have to weather three shots. I don't know if Rocketeers can Rocketeer if there's only one target. If they can, it's probably all over regardless. Yeah, I think I have to take this diagonal movement and just hunker down. The Rocketeer can't actually... The Rocketeer can get a flank. If I hunker here. But at least we would have the plus 30 defense. Alternatively, I can aid protocol and run back here. Plus 20 defense, that's not as good as Hunker. Alright, I think we're taking this step. Hypnography though, 62%. I believe it disorients everything. Reduce enemy will, that's useless. Okay just as well. It would have been a mistake not to try it first if that was the case. Alright, we're gonna hunker and pray. And we'll move sheep same there straight through the middle of them to get out because for some reason the scout is immune to ghost walker. Overwatch. 
one poorly aimed troop shot. And then... Overwatch. I could hunker again. They'll move closer, probably do the same thing. But I don't think we can keep it up for that many turns. And the drone is still blissfully unaware. I could try hacking the drone. I'm pretty sure... Advanced Trooper could flank next turn if I hack. I can't move over here and then hack. I've got a 0% to pop the drone in one turn with combat protocol if it comes. I could aid protocol and then move, but I couldn't get heavy cover. If I control the drone... These guys are flanked by it and might want to do something about it. These guys all attack the drone as well. I can't see the drone living for more than a turn. We don't get to do anything with it until next turn as well. It's only 56% to control it as well. Good copy. Moving on target. That's another drone. Not what I wanted to see. Um, I guess we'll go... Position over confirmed. here with sheep. And cavern. I should have made my decision about hacking the drone before I moved sheep. I didn't realize I'd have line of sight here. Already established that the hack doesn't help. I can't pop one of the overwatches and move. Interference would have been really, really good here. I think the move is to hunker again, honestly. Maybe next turn with sheep I can get a flesh that puts him in not a suicidal position to kill one of these guys, or at least weaken them, remove the overwatch. I could aid protocol cavern and hunker. Sheep will have bonus defense just from getting revealed. Oh, he's still hit. And we still have double overwatch. That's a mech. We're so close and yet so far. What if I hack the mech? Probably not that useful, actually. It's only 31%. Um, I honestly think all I can do is hunker for one more turn. 3 to 5 plus 2 damage. The trooper, if he hits, will kill... Could kill without a crit. If I take two steps, I've got two overwatch shots to deal with. Well, to get killed by. If I do anything other than trying to hack this. Um, it ends the turn. I think we just try for the alien alloy cache and hunker. Oh, defense and mobility. I should have read that. Didn't get control. 
That's unfortunate. He's going to be able to get a flank shot if he wants it next turn anyway. Alright, sheep. I'm going to need you to run to where you can potentially get out next turn. Oof. And we cross our fingers and hope for the best. Bleeding out. Okay. I didn't consider that possibility that it could still be this interesting. And this mech is in the worst possible place. Uh, we've got two turns to pick up Kevin at the evac. It is a free action. And it really wouldn't be that difficult if this mech, if these two didn't move over here. If I wait one turn... And then Ghost Walker and Sprint out here. I don't know how this timer works. It says three right now. So it goes down at the end slash start of the turn, right? So I have to pick this up within two turns. Ghost Walker next turn? And at the end of next turn, I could maybe be like here? And we blue move and pick up Cavern, I hope. That's really the only chance we have. Yeah, that is that is literally it. We can definitely get sheep out, but we're going to be very lucky if we can get Kevin out. What? Oh, they saw the corpse. That might actually be a good thing. Okay. Ghost Walker. Now you see me. And we know where they are. I don't know exactly how close we can get because I can't see them. But Okay, how far can we go with a blue move? The uh the movement stats on this are very confusing. It's not like just count the tiles or something. We can go like this far. I th think if I can get over here we could do it. I just have to hope we don't get spotted. We're risking sheep say mare to save cavern and the mission. Uh, I hope I'm not overestimating Ghost Walker with this. Wait, they're standing here. No, those could be civilians. Uh. They showed us where all the enemies are, but it was just a brief flash. If I blue move to have a look, we could get spotted. We might not have a path. We do have to get sheep, uh, get cavern next turn. I think... It's so risky. But I think this is the play. Check fired. That's a bit much. Well, good luck. Uh oh. At least they don't get Overwatch shots. We now have a defense bonus. Flank shot. Oh, I don't like where this is going. That defense bonus did not help. Well, 
that should have been the easiest hack in the universe, nope. but nope. Thanks to your efforts, dissident activity is down across all territories. The travel ban between I can't believe the mech still had that much sight. Remember, good citizenship has its rewards. So this one was okay, Commander. Losses like that cost us more than just Shut up, Central. So we've seen at least two types of enemies that arbitrarily have an exception to Ghostwalker. And I've never seen that before. <sighs> That's frustrating to say the least. He actually shouldn't have been seen if the mech... If the mech's sight uh, detection radius wasn't arbitrarily ignored Ghostwalker. If I'd had that information... I mean, if I'd had that information, there wouldn't be much I could do to save Boo... Uh, to save our hacker, but... Um, since when do scouts and mechs just ignore Ghostwalker? That's what I'd like to know. And we have to deal with the... Uh, random faceless on missions as well now as well not happy Jen I'm not happy with the way that was lost not to mention not having a single path up onto the freeway All right, let's gain some intel. I am the sky has incoming now. That's good. Uh, does anyone else want the officer training? Midden does. Just guessing, don't know for sure. That might be interacting weirdly with Ghostwalker, since the mod says it increases detection radius out of cover, or decreases. Yeah, no, like, uh, I don't know if it's like... Because I played the hell out of it with Long War before War of the Chosen. I never saw an exception to Ghostwalker. But the reason Sheep Seymour was in that position to start with was because the scout had an exception to Ghost Walker, and I couldn't, I couldn't squeeze past the scout at like seven tiles away. Peak from concealment increases detection radius. Uh, mechs can't peek from concealment. Uh, mechs can't uh, uh, peek, is what I meant to say. All right. Well, at least we have advanced weapons soon. Isn't exactly now we get our ambush. So I'd love to find out how they pulled off this ambush. Did you honestly expect to operate in the shadows while I still move among the living? All right. Who have we got available? Is anyone in Haven Advisor that I want to pull out? Stardust potentially. Jakubek. That's pretty much it. Um. Got I Am the Sky for scouting. And we basically need people to camp. Let's get Rorosaur, I think. Sloda. Perhaps. Sloda's aim isn't that good. Seventy-five at Staff Sergeant. That's actually pretty bad. Don't have any perks to beef uh, beef it up either. Uh, Zetius, perhaps. We still don't have the big guns yet, do we?
Also, that one squad that did find our hacker literally found it by one tile. One last step. Sigma Bean makes a lot of sense here as well. Just guessing could just be the arbitrary long war shenanigans. Yeah, I mean, Ghost Walker is a long war thing. It's not in vanilla, I don't think. I could be wrong. Um, is this the squad I want? Probably. I definitely want Rorosaur. With the light em up, accurate rockets. Uh, let's get some armor. Do we have access to. We don't have any supplies anyway. Weapons. Armor. Apparently, we don't have any more armor. Talking about the peak from Concealment mod interacting with Ghost Walker. No, I've used those together before. It's never had any effect. I don't see why it would, either. Peak from Concealment, if anything, would only make you harder to detect. It lets you sidle up to a corner without the enemies seeing through it, basically. Alright, what weapons do we have available? Nothing. I really put everything in that other squad. I'm thinking we'll swap the mag and laser rifle with these two. Sloder's aim is worse. Get that plus five aim. Alright. You do have cool under pressure though. Let's give you the laser sight, elite hair trigger, and we haven't seen a codex yet, so elite mag will be fine. And on the mag rifle similar stuff, I guess, since we don't have any scopes. Do we have Sten Guns? Oh, we got a... I'll do you one better, Stutter Mag. Actually, Sten Gun on the Scout and... Stutter Mag... on our Grenadier. There we go. Alright. Let's go with Suppressor. Laser Sight. Auto loader, why not? And I think that's pretty much gonna do it. Basically, these guys are gonna camp the evac. I think our armor should go on the shinobi, though, in case we want to get the sword out. Got nothing but focus for PCS right now. It's not great. Alright, away we go. Sky Ranger deploy. Squad green to deploy. It would have been very easy to finish that last mission as well if um when you're out of actions, you could use a free action. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Weirdly enough, it's a free action to pick someone up, but it costs an action to put them down. You've 
got no time to waste. Break cover and move to the extraction point on the double. Alright. Good thing I brought a scout because this is the worst map for this sort of thing. There's usually enemies right here. In fact, that might be why I can't move to this spot. Uh, and or right here. Like, take one step and they'll find you. Let's worry about this end first. What do we got here? A very healthy trooper and rocket guy. We've only got a regular shotgun on Ragnar. So I think we want to try and one-shot the trooper. I could go into shadow. Can I go into shadow and use conceal... without revealing myself? Uh, the ghost grenade, that is. Leave these guys just confused. How much damage do we have? Four to seven crits for four. Ordinarily, I'd love to get in and flank these guys, but... I don't want to get seen by something else. Let's scout over here. I am the sky will almost definitely find something with this move. Enemy sighted. That is a Muton Centurion. Not a fan. We've got a six health trooper and a shield bearer. We definitely need to ambush them properly. Uh, and I'm not going to risk moving even a little bit to the right here, because it might find something. Let's get slow to... relatively close. Sigma Bean doesn't have much to do. I wish I knew which way they were going to go. I think the best chance of getting a good rocket is here. And we overwatch. Slow to just get close. And Sigma Bean. Probably just park yourself here as well. Okay, this is actually a really awkward start, this position. I could try to one-shot the uh, Rocketeer with a crit. I could use Shadow just for the movement buff. For some reason... Oh, I see. That little rock is such a problem. Otherwise, I could move uh, Ragnar right here to flank shot this guy. And if it doesn't kill him outright, I could put Larius here to knife him. I guess I'll have to do basically that, but just use the low cover. I was born in the shadows. Uh, with the bonus being I am that we can you. see over this way. 100%, 45 crit. Don't like those odds anyway. I'm going. We got 100% here. It's actually like a 55% plus chance to kill. And if it fails, we'll use a knife. It does not fail. You see that one? Therefore, we use the knife on this guy. 
Not a whole lot of damage, but it's better than nothing. Oh, that camera though. And of course they walk right into us. At least we shred the armor off for the, the Centurion. Wasn't expecting that one to hit. Gratuitous overwatches for free. Uh, okay, that's good. That actually tells us there's a squad over here as well. I'm pretty sure he's running to get himself hooked up with another squad. Alright, obvious rocket is obvious. Spread of only half a tile. Please hit all three of them. Oh wow, three crits. Except that three crits and they're all alive? Really? Really, really. I could put I am the sky up here, shoot the uh shoot the trooper at point blank and deflect the melee attack from from the Centurion. There should be enemies here, but because of the height, we won't have line of sight on them. So if I can get that shield bearer to die, that is an if. I think it's probably still the best move. So we can neutralize the Centurion. Unfortunately, Sloda only has a laser weapon. You have got to be joking. Okay. 94%, 4 to 7, plus 2. We could kill this guy outright. Larius? Uh, is never getting an angle to shoot those guys. That's probably the squad that the uh, heavy rocketeer was trying to run to. I am on the move. And we have an okay chance to kill him. Alternatively, I could try run and gunning. It's not going to be the best use of run and gun, but Ragnar can't do anything this turn otherwise. I think I'll just try shooting him, and if it fails, we'll stun him with run and gun. Alternatively, I could knife him, and we'll watch him run away again, and his movement is going to be worse. And he'll probably leave himself flanked. Like, able to be flanked. Oh, and he's bleeding. Crit for four, and he's bleeding. That could just be the end of him. Alright. Let's bring Ragnar up here. Don't see anything new. Fantastic. I think I still take this shot no matter what. You have got to be joking. Um, okay. Do I... Uh, I can't make this move now. Two enemies are going to come up and flank I am the sky if I do that. I could give another action to Sloda to miss again. I could give an action to Sloda to flashbang them. That'll prevent the shield next turn. It'll also prevent a grenade from the muton. I could use Sigma to execute the trooper at least with a combat protocol. I 
think that's what we have to do right now. And I and this guy can't move without getting revealed. Getting revealed isn't that bad, but I need to command Slodo regardless. And just in case the other squad has something to say with explosives, let's guard against that with incoming. Okay. I can just barely flashbang both of them. What were the odds there? 94% and we missed entirely. <sighs> Alright. Now for the Muton to... The Muton's not disoriented. Why the hell is the Muton not disoriented? Suppression. Okay, we can all but ignore that. more worried about this guy. That's fine. And what's this, a stun lancer? Oh, it's a sentry. Alright, I'm gonna need Larius to get a flight shot. Nice slow reaction from Ragnar there. Alright, so Rorosaur is going to move up and flame this uh, Centurion, almost definitely. We don't have any more action uh, commands. Sloda can't move until the suppression ends. Uh, first things first, Ragnar, would you do the honors? And finish this guy off. Actually, I think he took two damage from bleeding, so he was probably dead anyway. But we got slow to some XP anyway. I do have squad sight on one of these guys, but it's not the one with the overwatch. I can actually flank the shield bearer. I think that's better than taking a weak shot against this guy. Yeah, it's only the shield bearer that I can flank. Although we do get bonus aim against... Uh, and armor pierce against people in cover anyway, for some reason. can actually compare the two shots from here. 87% on Shield Bearer, 71 on Sergeant. Easy choice. And we graze for almost no damage. Okay. Let's bring Rorosaur up and flame. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Uh, we should be able to flame the Muton without being exposed. So I would like to pop that Overwatch. I'm going. Give it a little interference. Maybe overwatch yourself. I don't think I value the two damage on the six health enemy as much as what value we might get from combat protocol later on. Rorosaur, if you please, move to the heavy cover and greet the muton warmly. He's not burning. That is the last thing I wanted to see. Um, Alright, what are we flashing? 
sentry. I can actually kill the sergeant. Only if we hit. And only if we don't mineral. And only if we don't graze. Um... Shield bear is going to not be disoriented next turn. I could use Sloda to... How much damage is this? 14 to 26. I should be able to guarantee to execute this guy. I need to kill the Muton. He's not burning. Goes from being risky to... Stupidly risky to send Sloder out there. Um, I could park I Am the Sky next to the Muton. So that he'll waste his turn on melee. I'll have to leave the shield bearer up. He could kill Sloder. This is This is just awful. All of the most critical luck rolls have gone the wrong way. Sloda, I mean, uh, I am this guy could get set on fire randomly next turn if I leave him parked here as well. I could potentially kill the muton by shooting it in po at point blank as well. That leaves me open to obsessive reloader later on. No matter who I kill here, assuming we do kill them, we're flanked by two people. Can I move back a bit? Or maybe run over here for a flank reaction shot? We also get the combat awareness. But depending on who moves and when, this guy could flank. If we could just reach the other side of that tree, it would be very helpful. Oh, here. Um, sentry could flank him. And I'm pretty sure the sentry moves last. So it's actually the best way to get him killed with a flank shot is to run him over here with a reaction shot. Otherwise that would have been a good move. I am this guy is not exactly tanky. What if I put I Am The Sky here and give him aid protocol? And then with slow to just put him behind heavy cover, I guess. We could find enemies over this way as well. This is so bad. Guy is gonna get flanked. If I leave that muton up, there's a good chance he gets set on fire, but not before he does something really, really bad. How much damage can these guys do? Sentry, 2 to 5 plus 1. He could barely, barely kill Sloda with one shot. So actually a baby sentry. Shield bearer, 5 plus 2. Four to six plus two. Up to eight damage. I think Sky is gonna be okay here. What, what's over there? Especially with aid protocol. Um 
guess I'm not taking a shot against either of these two. And I'm not counting on the sword to kill... It should kill the Muton in one go. But why risk it? I could hunker here. That's actually a really good idea. Hunker. Aid protocol. And slow down. Probably move over here for a flank a little bit later. And hope we don't spot anything this way. No, it's so risky. Let's move over here into Overwatch. Alright. Counterattack. Dead Muton. Shield Bearer does its thing. Take off three. That is not who I expected him to go for. Sigma Bean taking a bit more than a scratch. Reinforcements are about to arrive. Alright, Larius has an 87% on the shield bearer still. Can actually get shot at by the officer if he moves over here. Uh, Ragnar has run and gun, but is not close enough yet. I could get Ragnar to tank or dodge the overwatch shot. It's got quite a lot of hit points. And we're not going to miss a sergeant assault for a few days. Too badly. I am the sky can't run overwatches. Not that kind of shinobi. It's actually just the sentry, so max 6 damage. I think I would like Sloda to greet this guy cordially. You could actually do it before we deal with the Overwatch, but let's see what else we can do. Sigma Bean could self-heal. Only missing three hit points. I'd love to get Rorosaur in range for the Flamethrower, but he'll probably end up getting cooked himself. Besides, there's the Overwatch. Larius. May as well move up to the heavy cover. And take another shot at Shield Bearer. Alternatively, I could 85% the sentry. Don't give him an Overwatch shot. Not a whole lot of damage, but now we can run Ragnar up to do something good next turn. Out. I am the sky. Oh, before we do. Hmm. Actually, now I'm not so sure. One extra tile should be fine. Let's do this. Loader. Please say hello to Advanced Sergeant with both barrels. 20 dying damage. Fantastic. And I can kill the sentry now. We're going to be exposed after that, but like, there's really nothing for it. Oh, wait, we can kill sentry. And then set shield bearer on fire, 75%. With a slight Absolutely. chance of setting ourselves on fire with the spreading flames. By standing here. 
thank goodness. Alright, so one casualty this uh, mission. I hope it's worth it. I Sigma it. Bean's going to be out for a while. Not too likely the reinforcements are going to be much of a problem. What is that ability beside Haywire on the Specialist? Beside Haywire? I'll have a look. Oh, he actually moved back in range for I Am The Sky to just slash him. Nice, he's gone with one action. Larius can shadow out of this. And could probably kill this guy for free as well. Oh, they can't even see him. Even better. Shadow up to... Can't actually see them from there. Is it too greedy to want to kill these guys? I definitely want Ragnar to just run home. Oh, the uh, the abilities for our hacker. We've got Aid Protocol, Combat Protocol, Haywire... Oh, Iron Curtain. So it's basically... Sorry, that's the Factorio mods. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, it's basically... Shoot at everything in a cone. And it goes a little bit further than normal sight range. Rayclaw, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What the... Uh, uh, something's busted with my stream labs. Just type this XCOM mods. No? I'm not sure if I've done an XCOM mods command or not, actually. Because there's too many of them, I couldn't fit them. Alright. I think we should leave without aggroing these guys, or at least without them seeing us. Uh, I would like to potentially kill one I go where I with a knife, it. though. I found their patrol. Yes, you have. Rip Trooper. And this guy's never getting line of sight. Oh, unless... Unless I run right up to him and stun him and kill him. Get Ragnar some XP. It'll be a couple of turns before... Reinforcements. Let's do it. Bolt from the blue. Fantastic. Could get I am the sky over there. Let, let's do that just in case. I'm trusting you here. And Rorosaur back to the evac. On the move. Let's not get sloppy. There could be enemies over here, maybe. Here I come. And Sigma Bean Is over here, please. a gunner ability haven't ever picked it up i think it competes with shredder or something yeah it's a uh, it's an extra ability from another class all right let's i go where you tell me shoot this guy a bit shoot a three yeah no oh 
Larius stole the kill. I will need more ammo. They found us. Nice team play, Larius. Alright, Sloder. You can already get out, so stay there and reload. Ragnar, get up here, please. It's a little quicker than I expected, but it'll be fine. Over here, please. Getting it done. Maintaining position. Looks like they don't see us. We got mech trooper stun lancer. We're not fighting that. It's not too far. If you say so. On my way. Is that everyone? Slow to get in there. Finally. And away we go. Packing it in. Well, could have been worse. We took three damage on Sigma. Despite all of those rolls going very badly. <laughs> We still get no promotions today. Maybe on the others? Shut up, Central. Ragnar or Larius, perhaps? Nope, no promotions. Yeah, I think the only promotion we've seen today, despite like th three missions, four, is uh. When we got a new soldier. Uh, but I'm going to need a little break, so let's do some words on stream real quick. I'll be back in just a few minutes. And we'll start that in about 30 seconds.
me how I put this mission off because I wanted the three soldiers when they got ambushed. Oh well. Gotta play the odds. Nicely done. Fantastic. Let's continue with XCOM, shall we? And I think it is about time we did ability points. There's uh, almost no chance of an ambush right now, so we'll just put as much expertise in as is needed to keep the failure chance down. Um, how about if we send Larius and our new assault, Ragnar? Still 44%. I'm not happy with 17% failure. That's still 17% failure. Wait, our, our top ranks available. We've got two Haven Advisors, let's ignore that for a sec. 12%, alright. Let's get everyone out of Havens. Except Myclat. Myclat can stay indefinitely. With his bad, uh, hi historically worst sniper aim of all time. Alright, if we go our three highest rank available, failure is 6%. We can probably go with something that makes a bit more sense, just in case they get ambushed. Um, oh, Jakubek and Sloder actually have about the same aim. Okay. Sloder's got more health, less mobility. You know what, I think I'll send Sloder just because I don't feel like retooling, redoing the loadout. Uh, is Tumbling Satellite still wounded? Yes, he is. Ten more days still. Alright, let's send Larius. This seems fine. Except for the grenade. Uh, not Jakubek, Sloda, the gear, and the extra health, and Yatuwatu, value 17%, 12%, I guess we're just gonna have to go with it. Please don't fail to get the ability points. It's only three days. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. How's that other mission going? We'll probably get the uh, covert done first. And let's park some people the back in. There's Haven advisors. Is that everything? Yeah, yeah it is. Alright, uh, gain intel I suppose? I guess I could heal people a bit faster still. Wait, that was the wrong click. I guess we're gaining intel. I am sure you will find the results to and we finally have mag rifles. Mag long rifles, and so on. Fantastic. Viper Autopsy Instant? Huh. Is that because I got a bunch of Viper Corpses? It's not like I'm paying extra to make it instant, is it? 
Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. Snick. I find it unusual, to say the least. Gas grenades are quite good. The thin man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this holy reptilian creature. It only takes two days to do the turret breakdown, so we may as well do that first. Throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system. Which I Shouldn't Shen, Shen be doing this? Thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. There you go. All right. The chosen, known as the assassin, seems to mirror the traits of the nobler warrior archetypes we know throughout our own history. Having witnessed and more importantly heard the unusual commentary delivered by this assassin, I cannot help but wonder the source of these unique personality traits. I want to get I am the sky's negative trait cured, but I am the sky's only the only shinobi available right now. And we can avoid we can play around obsessive reloader. Doesn't often actually have to take a shot as that class. So, let's wait until That actually really hurts that we lost sheep same I need more shinobis. Four days lightly wounded. I think once Mannequin is back, we'll do that training. And it's about the same time Midden is available again. Do we have any recruits we could get that would be good for Shinobi? Not quite. Bad aim, bad aim, bad aim. Bad health. Good everything else. I could give him a PCS. And or nanoscale vest for the health. Fifteen supplies, I can't even afford that much. But if we don't find someone, we could maybe get Ivan Novikov as a shinobi. Actually, I'm only thinking of sword shinobis. What if I get... Uh, get one as a scout because we don't actually have a scout shinobi anymore uh, high health based uh, normal mobility high defense uh, dodge very very tanky terrible aim and okay mobility that's actually pretty good for uh, for the sneaking missions Alternatively, I should probably use this person for a flamethrower. Since their aim stat doesn't often matter. Well, we can't do it right now regardless. What was that? Oh, plus four intel. We really do need the intel. Two people recruited to Haven, New India, and East Asia. Fantastic. New target. Sabotage transmitter three days. That's not going to happen. Light as well. Yeah, we're not getting in there. One day, three hours, definitely not going to happen. Rescue resistance contacts. There is no shame in admitting my admiration we do get the ability points. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
I see a shadow of my own creation. We could do oh, gather supplies. Well together, Commander. We'll be getting supplies in two days. But that doesn't mean we don't need more of them. Plus 407. It's a lot, but we've got a lot of stuff that we want to buy. What are our other options? Intel, upgrade PCS, corpses, rebels. If I could choose where the rebels go, it's only two rebels for five days? Bruh. That's pretty weak. It's not actually shorter than that because of some buff that I'm not aware of, is it? No. 76 supplies in four days. Random loot can be very good or very bad. Supplies, we know exactly what we're getting with supplies. Let's probably go for this one. And I might send Larius and... Yatuwatu? 9% failure? Seems okay. Oh, hey, we have shard gun now. But I can't buy one. That's why we're going for supplies. Okay. I don't think the grenade helps that much. I don't know why it keeps putting a grenade back in with this class. Uh, but I don't... Whenever I can avoid it, I don't want to drop below 14 mobility. My followers will lead this action to victory. Alright, turret breakdown in seven hours. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. Fantastic. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. Really yep. shows you how much they care. So we can now build a uh, facility that'll give us some turrets if the Avenger gets attacked. Uh, shred arounds, fantastic. Purify autopsy only takes four days. And after that, all we've got left is breakdown stuff, actually. Wow. Cool. After a careful examination of the specialized advent unit identified as the purifier, I have found clear evidence of genetic modification to the subject's thermoregulatory glands. These changes, in conjunction with their specialized armor, give the purifiers an impressive heat tolerance, bordering on total immunity. Indeed. Uh, how late are we? It's July 26. That's not that bad. And we've actually got nothing to research soon. Oh, wait. We need supplies to research this stuff. That's more what I would expect. Okay. This mission needs to be over infiltra wait, what? Oh no, the strength went up. Three days oh, I misread it. It's it's almost four days until this expires. We've got tons of time. But yes, the advent strength did go up, I think. It was was it four or was it six? I think it was six, actually. Where did they go? Got an urgent communication coming in for you now. I'm gonna get told off uh, for, for failing one mission. Situation, Commander. Continued failings over the last month have left many in Three pistol attacks sir, from the chosen sniper. Improvement will do. Oh, good. Because the assassin doesn't have enough arbitrary BS that punishes you for hitting her. Is 
We need to kill this guy sooner rather than later. We should use every opportunity we have to take them out. Yes, Central, I know. Realistically, it can't happen that quickly, though. I think we actually need, like, three max rank people to hunt the Chosen for the final mission. Or the first mission, really. If you don't count the, uh, covert ops. Alright, we have 400 shut up central. You literally, you literally just told us this, like 10 seconds ago, central. What? We already... Central? We're in the middle of a mission. Is there a way to get rid of the damage mitigation? Not really. Uh, basically, the first the first time you attack them that turn, they're going to gain two armor, and then you need to shred it off. Um, and you're going to need to do that every turn that you deal any damage to them. All right, uh, we've got four twenty supplies. Nice. Uh, is there anything we want to do to get started right now, as opposed to later? We don't have a proving ground yet. Should probably put that next to the workshop. Then again... The defense matrix... I can't remember if this thing benefits from... having an engineer in it or not. It's only 50 supplies, we should definitely get that. Let's put it way down here. How much power do we have? Lots. I could think about getting a silo. I think I had one rookie that I was holding on to because their stats were terrible except for Psy and health, I guess. Um. Yeah, a Scilab wouldn't be the worst idea. Does it benefit? I think it benefits from scientists as opposed to engineers manning it. Alright, we need proving ground. We need defense matrix sooner or later. It's only 50 supplies, I should probably get it out of the way. And we need Scilab. Let's put the defense matrix down here. It doesn't have to get built that quick, we can let it go on auto. Uh, proving ground over here. And I th think we should put the Scilab right about here. And we already only have 170 supplies left. We're not going to be able to give everyone big guns. Um, but I'm glad we're getting more supplies in 30 hours. We'll have like, what was it, 240 or so? Whoops. How did I even do that? Clicked on objectives. Very light, let's wait a little bit longer. And I guess let's hop over Avenger to the black market. We could sell turret wrecks for 16. I'm pretty sure there's something... I wish it would tell us here, but I'm pretty sure there's something good we can make out of those. I don't want to get rid of them until I'm sure. Oh, I forgot we get a free shard gun. I could have given it to Yatuwatu. That's unfortunate. Probably won't matter. We'll find out soon. What's for sale? Scientist, engineer, specialist, shinobi. We kind of need shinobis. 
it really sucks having to pay this much without being able to see the stats up front. But it's pretty hard to make a shinobi that can't be useful. Worst case, we just make it a spy. A scout. I don't really think we need another specialist, but... Could be good. We do need more engineers to make certain things, but that's like all of our supplies. 60 stings a little bit, but a Sergeant Shinobi is really, really important right now, actually. Let's see what we've got. Obra. Is anyone waiting for a name? Uh, we already gave Ragnar a name, so no. We've got... 74 aim, 15 mobility, 5 health, 18 dodge. That is actually excellent. Really, really good for a sword user. Sheep say mare? Okie dokie. Bonk. What do we have here? Um... That's nice, but expensive. That's really good, but expensive. That's great, but expensive. We've got low combat intelligence, so we're not going to get many points here without using the shared pool. Precision shot, iron curtain, bring him on. Couldn't care less. Survival instinct is kind of eh. I can't see the reward? Oh, right, right, right. My bad. I forgot. Um, let me just fix that real quick. And because of my mistake, I'll just give you a name. Name in character pool. There we go. Uh, all right. Sheep. Say meh. Make it sheep say sheep's meh. Okay. There we go. Anything else while we're here? You don't quite have enough mobility. Like, if you had a little bit more mobility, as opposed to dodge, perhaps, uh, I'd love to give you hit and run. And have a flanky shinobi. Don't really have any abilities down here, except, I guess, pre precision shot? No, it has to be a standard shot for hit and run. Yeah. Close, but not quite, to make a flanky shinobi. Reaper, whirlwind, and whatever. And you've already got 15 AP available. Um, but I'm not excited about giving you precision shot or iron curtain. And none of these are good enough to spend shared AP on, I don't think. We've got some really good stuff on some other characters waiting for that. I could give you Implacable. Bonus move when you get a kill once per turn. But we'll wait till you're a bit stronger for that kind of investment. Make me dodge? Okie dokie. Um, dodge. That is... Is that Netherlands? I remember I guessed it right last time. I'm pretty sure it's 
Netherlands, right? Yeah. Nothing else sort of comes close. Like, doesn't feel right if I try it on mentally. Uh, I could give you plus four defense right away. That would make enemies less likely to target you, everything else being equal, as opposed to dodge, which can downgrade it if they hit you. Considering you're going to be... you've already got 5 health, 28 dodge, considering you're going to be in enemies' faces, I can scarcely think of a better character to give defense. Alright. And then 11 hours till midden is out. Uh, focus fire training, that's actually excellent timing. Oh, what else? We've got... Oh, that, why is that so loud? We've got 110 supplies left. I'm not going to spend it on a specialist as much as I wish we had a better hacker. 60 for an advanced scope is a lot. We've had really rotten luck with some of the accessories, scopes in particular, this playthrough. I think once we get the opportunity, once we get um, uh, the proving ground going, we'll put the investment in so that we can make our own scopes. All right. So for the moment, I think we'll go back to gaining intel. How close are we? We need 160 to make contact here. We've got 114. Setting course for sector one, the Arctic. We've also got a data pad or 10 to break down. All right, Midden has officer. Sheep say meh. It's also going to be an officer. I always go focus fire. I've tried. I've gone out of my way and tried to use Oscar Mike. It's just not that good. Hey, Midden. Good to see you. Yes, you are, see you are still alive indeed. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You're doing quite well cutting up Advent. Also. We actually don't lose Shinobis all that often. All right, seven hours till we get the Purify Corpse research done. And then we'll probably move on to the data pads. To be an important step forward. Incendiary grenades. Excellent. I mean, we have to do the... Uh, I was going to do other stuff, but now they're inspired for Illyrium. I'd really like to get mobile armor as well. The first one is much cheaper, but you get one for free from doing the research. Um, but I really, really want to do... Where did it go? I thought we had advent data pads. There it is, advent data pad decryption. We got a big chunk of... Or a decent chunk of intel out of that. How many do we have? We have come to know as the hunter. Based on its history, Five? the Reaper faction seems to be the most indifferent, if not outwardly wistful, of the chosen. As to what it truly seeks, I cannot say. But unlike the majority of the elder's creations, this hunter I think makes no effort to hide the disdain he holds for his master. I don't want to pay the supplies for Illyrium research right now. And I really want that intel, so we can expand. Marked at home, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. A couple of chat members died earlier on, yeah. Funny you mentioned that, I just recently had a mission with an Oscar Mike officer and hated missing focus fire. Oh, true. Yeah, even on those sneak missions, um, I haven't... It's very rare, like... Uh, 
it, it's like picking cards to take in card games. You have to consider how often they're actually going to be useful. Focus Fire is just so much more often that it's good. Alright, Supply Run is Dunsky. Fantastic. Alright, what's the date today? We've got new missions. It is July 29. Wait, does it actually roll over the same time as... Uh, as when we get supply drops? Corpses, upgrade, bond, rebels, intel. Don't really care about all this. I think we want to do supplies, mech, and ability points again. We should probably squeeze in looking for the hunter. But again, uh, it's like three missions like this. And we have to have three soldiers at the highest rank, I believe, to do the last one. So it really doesn't matter that we're this far behind. Um, I think we're just going for supplies again. We've got so much that we need to buy. Could send Midden this time. What have you got? 85 aim, 16 mobility, 8 health, 19 dodge. That is brilliant. 0% failure. That's what I like to see. Twenty two per cent ambush isn't that we'll bad. Get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Missed ninety four per cent accurate, a hack and something else which I missed resulted in wipe, indeed. Rank all hacks that are not a hundred percent as zero in my head, yeah. Unless and until I have uh where is it? Uh failsafe. Which just, it says it prevents any negative effects from occurring, but that's a lie. You still lose the action and gain nothing. Um, but yeah, for the most part, unless a hack says 100%, I just think of it as zero, usually. Or think very carefully through the possible paths of succeeding or failing, and then make a choice. Um, alright, let's continue. I, I want this mission. 13 hours until vulnerable. It's probably going to get to 150% before it says extremely light. Fantastic. Expires in 5 hours. Let's go. We've got Buvim, Crimson, Zikra, uh, Glacier Wolf, Morpheus, and an unnamed specialist. For this one. Recover item from Vault. 28 Intel. Intel package. Let's -a go. Doesn't prevent concealment from breaking? No, it doesn't. Oh, wait. Um... You can try hacks without breaking concealment, depending on the hack. The upside's rarely worth risking the downside. When it comes to those towers that you can hack, yeah, like 97% of the time it's not worth it. Unless you can try it at the end of the mission for some strategic rewards. That's a wall. You, you are facing a wall. Okay. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents. Is it my imagination, or is this louder than usual? Oh, I would think it's my own volume. Whoops. Sorry about that noise. All right. Let's get someone with a small profile I trust to have a peek forward. I guess when a specialist reaches that rank, they shouldn't be failing hacks. Well, depends on the 
not created equal. Um, there's nothing actually here, is there? Time to motor. Zichkra. Still not sure how to pronounce that. Got it covered. Or physically can't really do it. I've got enemy oh, here. hello. That is, I think, a level... I can't see them. Uh, I think that was a level 2 pyro. You have my trust. Not a fan of that. Can't have anything appear over here, so let's Moving have a peek. Quickly. And Glacier Wolf, move up a bit further. Oh, and we can see nothing, actually. Morpheus... Um, I don't think there's actually anywhere you can get height, so park yourself over here in case you get a shot. Don't think I've ever thought to do end of mission hacking. It needs to be in range of the evac. Okay, we got 10 and 3 hit points and armor on this guy. Uh, looks like that's also a fire grenadier, and uh, wow, okay, purifier, grenadier with incendiary grenades, and rocketeer. This uh, this is a very spicy squad. Um, I'm almost tempted to just rocket them, but we should probably at least try to gain some more information. We've only got seven bloody turns to get to this thing and hack it. Um, the one good thing about Crimson is not his aim, but it is his mobility. Well, mobility, health, and dodge. Basically, excellent tank, but even worse than usual for, uh, for a Templar in terms of actually slicing things reliably. I do have Hail of Bullets on Glacier Wolf, so I don't think I'll be using Reaction Fire. Uh, Glacier Wolf is our, also a tank. With terrible aim, but we do have that one guaranteed hit. Um, I think I want to move our Specialist up here regardless. And... To be honest, I'd like to try and sneak past these guys. For one thing, I want to be closer to the objective before we start fighting. For another thing, it would be nice to avoid fighting them entirely, because they are nasty. So it is decided. Um, I don't suppose I could put Sijkra. somewhere. We can't actually set the pyro on fire. Not until we have um, a certain perk. It's too... it's way too greedy, risky to run in here. Let's go over here for now. Move him over here, I guess. Glacier Wolf. And Morpheus. I guess someone will still be able to see them. And let's bring... You know what? Let's just overwatch. So if something goes really weirdly bad, we've at least got something. Ignore the J in my name. Uh, Zikra? Is that right? Who's got a blue move to this door? That looks pretty good. Move in. Zikra. Okay. Thank you. And good to see you again, by the way. Let's have a peek. We open. I hate this stuff in the ceiling. Uh, and let's have a peek through this door with Zikra. 
we see the objective, so we could hack it from here. That's actually really kind of good, except I don't want to be between these two squads. Maybe if they go away a bit more. Let's grab our specialist and confirm we could hack from there. If I get closer, I'll be able to see if we could hack from like over here. Already there. Let's do that next turn. Also, if it weren't for the objective, I'd love to maybe rocket these guys. Move him. Can pr probably go up to this spot. Oh, wow. Is this actually working the way I think it is? The Sidewinder is the leader. We preview movement. The Sidewinder has a ton of mobility. And does that mean the patrol can actually go all the way into here? I don't want to find out the hard way. Let's bring Boovim up this way. Crimson. This should be safe. A good decision. Glacier Wolf. Uh, over here, please. Double time. And Morpheus can finally start creeping towards potentially having some height advantage, but probably not. And Zikra Overwatch. Oh yeah, I gave Zikra a Sten Gun this turn. A turn? This mission. So that we could potentially flamethrower something. But the snakes aren't moving. I wouldn't necessarily expect them not to move. To victory. Oh yeah, let's see. We can hack this thing from all sorts of places. So I think I'd like to have our specialist parked here. And we'll be able to get the objective hacked in the middle of a turn. Headed there now. Morpheus won't have line of sight with height advantage ever this t uh, this mission. I'd like to get him up where he's not going to get spotted by that other squad. How far is it? This should be okay. Squeeze yourself in here. Let's get Crimson up here. We march towards enlightenment. Towards enlightenment. Uh, Zikra with the flamethrower. Get nice and close to those snakes. And in a place where other squads aren't going to come in and see you. Glacier Wolf. Probably. That's weird. I can get to here, but not to here. I guess changing direction doesn't cost anything. Got it. Slightly risky that something could come this way, but I think we've had enough. We've seen enough to know that nothing's coming from this way. Not that far. What do we have here? Engineer, Gunner, Sentry? I could flame one of the snakes, that's obviously not going to cut it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's the entire map, isn't it? So at least we know that. Question is how to go about this ambush. 
We need to hack within four turns. We've already got line of sight to do it. Morpheus has a 98% on Sidewinder. I could steady weapon, make it 100%, more crit chance next turn. Um, and we could start by potentially one-shotting the thing that we can't hit with reaction fire. And then we've got flanky, uh, not flanky, the opposite of flanky snakes, snipey snakes. Uh, that if we just flank them, they won't be able to do anything with their guns at least that turn. I think I would like Zikra over here. Potentially, if we're very lucky, we can cook that entire... Oh, that is a Grenadier. We could get flanked from their movement in one turn if we're very unlucky. But if we set up overwatches, it won't actually be unlucky. On Overwatch. Um, Ufim can probably stay here. It does increase the chances of being spotted by these guys after the fighting starts. So we'll see if we can squeeze. I'd like to keep our specialist here where we can hack the objective. And also have the heavy cover. Glacier Wolf? How about you park yourself this way? Roger that. Move him I over know. here. Evil Pla? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Got a Founder's Badge, indeed. I got a slight change in status as a Twitch person recently. Um, really is a bit tricky. I think this will do. Wait, then we can't see the flanky snack. Hello everyone, hello to you. Should I just steady as Morpheus? I think I should. And Crimson, I can't do Overwatch or anything. We don't have a pistol. I might get Crimson to carry a pistol in the future. In here. And that's it. Oh, they're going away. That's kind of really what I didn't want. Especially because I can't see them now. Unless I can fight these three without stepping forward. So that we don't engage them this turn. But I'm really going to want to step in and flank something with Boovim, no doubt. Oh, we've actually got Grapple up to here. That's excellent. Potentially. Uh, I actually know there's nothing over this way, unless that other squad moved there. Because we've seen every enemy on the map. Hmm. Pretty good chance to kill Snack outright. And then we get double overshot, uh, overwatch with uh, our specialist. With pretty damn good odds. And a mag weapon. Do I want to aid protocol anyone? I'm not going to know until afterward. I could potentially, like... Rend one of these guys after we open fire with Crimson. And then the way these guys react, we can probably move in with Zikra and blame at least two of them because they don't see him. Oh, they do see him. The opposing side can see Zikra, so I think that's how that works. Even so, should probably be okay. I think this is the turn, especially when we've only got three turns left and that other squad should be out of range. 
So who's gonna reaction fire other than specialist? Anyone? No, 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 no. Big no. Who's gonna need aid protocol? Probably maybe Boovim? Boovim's kind of a tank. For this stage of the game. I think it's just gonna be Crimson. Alright, let's let's aid protocol Crimson. Except this ability like lowers defense. Negative thirty. So that it does so that Crimson does get targeted. This is like plus twenty, so it's still gonna be negative ten. Out in the open, especially. Alright, Morpheus, if you please. One shot snack. Yes, we have. Fantastic. Almost one shot the other snake. And. Did one shot that snake. That's a pretty good opening. Um. I think we rend. Benaja. Pretty good odds of killing it. And that'll activate these guys, and we'll try and see if we can't flame them. Feel the power of the Templars. Nice. Hello. Uh, looks like we can cook a couple of them. More than likely. Oh, it's kind of... It's a little sketch, actually. Hmm. No, I think we can do it from here, probably. Definitely worth hitting the uh, Grenadier, regardless. We could, if not for that heavy cover wall. I think I still do that. Before I do, do I want anyone to run in? I don't think so. We don't have a Shinobi here. Bivim, perhaps? I don't think you can go that far in one turn. Unless you had run and gun, which you don't. Teamwork. Hello. Oh. If it was someone else who could give you a teamwork point, you could run right up to these guys and get double shots. Oh, hold on. If I go... Hmm. If I run up to these guys where I have line of... No, it's not an action, it's just a movement action, isn't it? Regular teamwork is. Alright, let's see if we can set this guy on fire. That might affect our decision making here. Time to burn. Fantastic. Blowing up walls all over the place. I do have a guaranteed hit for minimum 5 damage from Glacier, so I think we'll see if we can one-shot the sentry. Roger that. There's a little chance of getting flanked, but I don't, I really don't see it happening this turn. Oh, Minroll. That's unfortunate. And that just leaves Boovim and a movement-only action from Crimson. Oh yeah, Crimson wouldn't have been able to use teamwork. Good thing I didn't try. Um, I would love to get Boovim up here if... Oh yeah, right here. Where they can't see him. Or even up here? 
I don't think that's a whole lot safer. Let's just go over here. A long run. And tank mode for this is a safe Crimson. Run. Three fire damage on the Grenadier means 66% chance it dies next turn. Overwatch. Nice. Double Overwatch. Alright. So far, so good. We definitely want to hack. And I'll definitely, definitely take supplies, especially with the higher odds. Fantastic. Morpheus doesn't have a shot. Not surprising. Buvim... Well, Buvim can get flanks, but we need to deal with those... Oh, here we go. Bolt? I can kill the sentry outright. And I can hurt the gunner. Well, I can hurt the gunner and rend the sentry. Although that does risk. Be wary of my mark. That does risk getting hit by the Overwatch. Can we now creep Buvim up? A little bit. I could have done this before, regardless, actually. What if I grappled and moved to here? No, I think this is better. So we take a flank shot. Can I not see that guy? Oh, he's not flanked. Well, I didn't think that through. I could use Wrath, but we've only got one action left now. Let's just take our two shots. Alright. Oh, I still have... Suppression from Glacier Wolf. We can use that to kill the Overwatch. Um, and we can have Zikra execute this guy. No one's going anywhere. I'm not trusting that 33% chance that he'll survive. Okay, rend. So this the ninety percent, fantastic. And that just leaves our specialist guarding against uh, that other squad coming in. Let's bring Crimson back to pick this up, and move him back this way. Oh should have done evac. It's not too late, technically. Let's bring Morpheus okay, over I'll here. Go. That was maybe a tiny risk. Tiny risk with massive penalties evac. if it no. went bad, I guess. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Probably should steady. Okay, I think we just guard the evac at this point. I don't want to go looking for those guys to fight, but it, in case we do see them, let's bring Zikra closer and try and get a good angle to use a rocket. Glacier Wolf, fuck yourself here, I guess. Move him. Move here. Crimson. 
back here. Non evade detection. Come get some. And Morpheus. I would like you right next to the evac. Alright, and this turn, use that steady weapon for Overwatch. Overwatch. Back Covering now. Even could probably get a bit closer. No trespassers. This is fine. Oh, we find them? Maybe? This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Alright. I'll put you on Overwatch until we evac. That was very quiet. It's pronounced implacable? What's implacable? Here. I, I guess that'll be okay. I think that's everyone. I'm out of here. Kappa Beast, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Six out of nine enemies killed. That's a flawless. Fantastic. Have I been hearing phantom voices? And you haven't been saying replaceable? I don't know when I would have said something that sounds like that. I don't have anyone with a, an ability like that. Fantastic. We finally see some promotions. Advanced mag, advanced laser sight. Oh, a regular scope. That's like our second or third for the entire playthrough so far. Alright, what do we got? Morpheus? It's about time. Uh, Lone Wolf for the aim. Fantastic. And I'm still waiting for steady hands. Your abilities, your bonus abilities are not that exciting. But your regular stats are. 86 aim already, that's very good. It's a ranger ability in the base game. Um, do we have that on... Shinobis? Oh, here it is. Implacable. That is what I said before, although it's been a while since I mentioned that one. Must have heard it wrong? Okay. Uh, we've got our specialist all the way up to covering fire. That's not a whole lot. Uh, deep cover on a reaction shot character though that is really really good it's basically just like 30 free defense every turn oh i also want open fire i think i think open fire is the higher priority we'll wait probably one more um one more promotion i think before we can get that without dipping into the shared pool Then again, it's probably worth spending like 6 from the shared pool to get plus 10 aim and crit on reaction. Well, it's not on reaction fire, but like usually reaction fire is against things that are on full health. Like very often. Anyway. Uh, what have we got? Supply run 4 days. That's our only mission that's active at the moment, I think. Yep. We've got our Haven Advisors in. 
We've got almost enough intel. Probably once we research this, we can open up another region. Alloys and crystals, I'll take. Should probably start looking for a mission again now that we've got lots of people available. Preferably in the region with one strength would be good. This one just needs more recruits. This one is our scrap farm and supplies. Okay. Commander. At this rate, I'll be touring the Avenger in no time. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. All right. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. What should I do at this point? What do our wounds look like? Less than two days on only three people. That's really good. I don't think we really need... Well, I was going to say we don't really need a scientist in the infirmary, but our science is more bottlenecked by being willing to spend on some of this stuff at the moment, as opposed to anything else. The aliens have considerable resources at their... So we'll wait till everyone's healed before we pull that scientist back onto research. Do I want to risk buying that specialist? Probably not. I think I want to spend more on equipment. Alright, let's get more intel. Hey, Baker Staunch. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 24 intel. Not bad. Um, so we've got just enough intel to open up a new region. I'll get mobile armor, I think, after this one. I definitely want to have enough intel I will send word as to soon boost as something of note. at least one mission. Um, but I will risk having basically no intel for just a few days. Our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Okay. Wound recoveries... Are done. Fantastic. Back to research for you. Oh, and we can get some negative traits removed. What's the highest priority? Let's see. Yatuatu, Tumbling Satellite, Iron Sky. Uh, Yatu has Fear of Missed Shots. That one's pretty bad. I am the Sky. Uh, tumbling, here we go. Fear of the Chosen. Panic when encountering a Chosen. We can play around that. Um, we want to remove all these traits eventually, but that's probably the lowest priority. I am the Sky Obsessive Reloader. That's not as bad. It's, we can play around that as well, for the most part. So let's get Yatuwatu into the infirmary. Get that negative trait removed. Like we're playing Darkest Dungeon. Um, and let's go. Attempting to establish local regional contact. We got six days to rescue a scientist. Uh, from a cell. Very light. We're definitely doing this. Let's not even wait. Setting course for West Asia. All right, who have we got available? If I look at Havens, Zetius, Ragnar, I'll bear that in mind. Basically just Zetius, really. Probably just, ooh, Freeman's back. All right, we definitely want a scout of some kind. Uh, it's between I Am The Sky and Mannequin. Right now. What do we got? They're both the same rank. This one's an officer. That pretty much clinches it, I would say. 
Also, more mobility on I Am The Sky. Also, already equipped. Um, how about... Stardust is actually a tech sergeant already? Not bad. Got long watch as well. Ooh, it's time to build our first long rifle. Mag long rifle. Let's take... Jakubek and Boovim, I think. And we need a specialist. We could go Sigma Bean, or we could go with that shooter specialist we're trying to level up. That also leaves Sigma available to fill out another squad. Um, don't really have a hacker specialist this time, but that's probably fine. Pro probably. Uh, we've got the technology to get gas grenades and flame grenades, but we don't have them just yet. So a grenadier is kind of not that good right now. It does give us some guaranteed hits, though. Boosted cores. How much damage do these grens do? Three to f two to two to five, I think. Yeah, it's falling off. It's not that good right now. Need the technology. Uh, I think a technical would be in order here. Let's take Rorosaur. And... Who, who did I just swap out? Sloda or Jakubek? Either would be good. Let's go for the higher mobility for this one. How many armors do we have? Three? We can give everyone armor. Maybe skip the sniper. Uh, Alright, let's get some proper weapons in here. We need a mag long rifle. We need... Um, how many stun lancer corpses do we have? I probably shouldn't even ask. I should make sure we do get our one Templar... Better gauntlets. Uh, let's see. Oh, here it is. Gauntlet Mark II. Or Rorosaur. 4 to 9, as opposed to 2 to 7 damage. Um, how do we still not... Oh, because I need the... I need the... Proving ground. That's why we're still on the worst ablative armor. A lot of other things are going well, though. Does will help resist, like, mind control and stuff? Resisting panic and psionic attacks. Yes, it does. That is quite a lot of will if I give I am the sky. You know what, I'm not going to sell it. And I don't mind overriding it later on. Let's just give I am the sky lots and lots of will. Um, also, when we eventually get the officer skill, lead by... Uh, lead by example, it'll raise everyone else's will as well. I think I will take this plus 10 aim already. And... That's probably about it for now. Let's get Magnum... Oh wait, we're saving for this. Should I get this already? Do I want to spend that many... I think I do. Shed skill points. We can get cool under pressure for Stardust. So we've now got long watch with plus 10 aim and crit. 
And our first mag long rifle. Let's get some... Uh, strip upgrades. Let's get some elite hair trigger elite laser sight on this thing. Since we've got so few scopes, we may as well go all in on the reaction fire for this sniper. And probably just an autoloader. We're not often going to fire more than six times. Jakubek. Oh, did I steal your hair trigger? Steal the other one from someone else. I think they're on mission already. Whoops. Advanced. Uh, and I guess a regular hair trigger? It's kind of bad. I think I'll give our Lobi the regular hair trigger. You don't need that scope though. Have a laser sight? You can't crit yet. Have a suppressor. And we want advanced hair trigger. This one. Advanced auto loader. I don't think Rorosaur needs the Elite Hair Trigger as much as a scope. Where did that scope go? I could have sworn I was just looking at a scope on a weapon. Guess not. Vivim, it's about time you had a proper weapon. Here we go. Magnetic accelerator. Fantastic. Uh, weapon upgrade, strip all. What do we got here? 3 to 4 damage becomes 4 to 8. It's not as big an upgrade as I was expecting. In fact, I might have gone for the laser weapon for the plus aim if I'd realized it would be that weak. The minimum damage is almost the same. Plus two crit. Whatever. Take a suppressor, laser sight, and auto loader. How about advanced? Uh, I don't have one now. It's probably fine. Alright, I think that's pretty much gonna do it. Except we've got Stardust on six hit points with no ablative. Yeah, let's just be careful with Stardust, otherwise it's gonna be too slow. Okay. Away we go. Hello, am I still alive? Yes, indeed. Zetius. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You are this Haven advisor at the moment. With your very excellent aim, even though you're only corporal. Also, ever vigilant. Also, also, we really want to get you lightning slash eventually. Probably after we get you a better knife, though. Oh, on second thought, even now that would be really, really good. Maybe I should have... 
Maybe I should spend some shared points on that. Alright, let's continue with making contact. Seven days, rescue VIP, grenadier sergeant, and an intel package. Extremely light? That is very attractive. Alright, what do we got? Um, any shinobis available? Mannequin? I was about to get you to do officer training, but that can wait a little bit. Let's get Morpheus. And I definitely want... Well, I'll probably get a mag long rifle. For Morpheus. Then again, the laser lance hasn't been that bad yet. Definitely elite stock if you're not doing reaction fire. And a suppressor. Um, what are we doing? Rescue from vehicle. Let's put Sigma Bean on hacking. I need a shooter. I need a technical, perhaps. How about a flamethrower? Tumbles. Good to have you back. And... So we've got S Scout and Slice. We've got flamethrower, we've got shooter, we've got hacker, we've got sniper. Oh, this is already five people, and I don't think we can fit six. Ooh. If they don't reinforce, I can just barely do six people without boosting. Especially if we add in some more uh, suppressors. Do we have any more... nope. Any more Sten guns? How much armor do we have left? Uh, zero. Okay, we got one Predator armor between the lot of them. We can afford two more. So, if I commit to this... I need to get plated Templar armor still as well. Who's going to take the armor if we do? Tumbles and Mannequin, I think. And probably take it off Bean, he's not frontline. So these three? Glacier Wolf is pretty tanky already. I actually wanted to do the smoker with Salvo last mission, so I think we'll take this. We can now throw a free smoke with one action. Uh, and you know what we should get? A mag cannon. And one armor. So how many do we have available? Two. Mm. It is extremely light. And we do get a grenadier out of this. I think it's worth a little risk. Do we have another mag weapon? Nope. Laser rifle will have to do. Take a scope, take a hair trigger, take an auto loader. Take a suppressor. Scope. Hair trigger. Any 
more suppressors in here. Yep. Basic laser sight. Seems good. Sigma's not going to shoot that much. It's fine. That's the last suppressor. Should be fine. Maybe tumbles should have the Sten gun. Much more likely to take shots. Oh, can we afford... Definitely not. Okay. I should probably look at selling some stuff. Alright, we'll want to be a bit careful with this mission, but with six people against up to nine, it shouldn't be too terrifying. Uh, is anyone wearing armor, though? Definitely Tumbles. And I think Sloda. Seems good. Let's give you a nanoscale, at least. And I could give... Morpheus steady hands already. But at this stage he's just not struggling to shoot things yet. It would just get us further ahead with his aim. I don't think we need to do that right now. Okay. So we're definitely... Ooh... I'm glad they didn't get ambushed, because that would have been a little awkward. And again, I could have taken these guys out of the mission to rescue them. Alright, this is definitely one of those times I want to take a long duration mission. So that people can come back from the other missions before the potential ambush. Hunt the hunter, probably what we'll do. Let's let's do that. So we'll send in I think Crimson with Tempest Gauntlets. Maximum focus is now three. Bonus crit goes from two to three. Damage four to, uh four to six becomes six to nine. Doesn't have any aim bonuses, unfortunately. Uh, and I still can't afford better armor for you, but you are pretty tanky. And... Probably Larius again. But without the grenade. 30% on the ambush. Understood, Commander. My followers will but that's in six days. Of your soldiers. Okay. Now that we've got everyone queued up to do a mission, pretty much, let's your turn off Intel no for the moment. if we find more missions now, we're not able to do them. East Asia gets another recruit. Fantastic. I think one more and then we'll switch to whatever. New target acquired. Two days, one hour rescue contacts. Not going to happen. And sheep has focus fire now. How many shinobis have we got sitting around? Two? We have two. Alright, so we can train someone up a bit more. 
on the officer abilities. Let's go with sheep. Incoming. And we scan. Another important step forward. Another in 24 region. intel. Now we can boost if we have to. And I think it's about time we did mobile armor. We'll begin our research immediately. It's going to be a Although big help for certain classes. Expectations as to the limit. Long live the resistance. New regional contact. Long live the resistance. Okay. We have five peeps in this place. Let's throw in a Haven Advisor with the laser weapon. Seems good. Let's give you some grenades and a bit of ablative armor. That should be fine. Intel is not what we're about right this second, though. Let's get some more supplies. And another mission. Nine hours? I don't think we're going to pull that one off. We could try queuing it up and have 50 enemies on the board. I right-clicked and I don't know what that was just now. It's probably a mission? Oh, it's a rendezvous already. Wow. Never seen one pop up that quick. Glad I checked on the loadout. We got at least three laser weapons as well. That's gonna help. Uh, one, two, three, four. Did I say we had six people in this region? So that means we're against double. Uh, double faceless again. Okay. Yeah, me neither. That's the edge of the map, right? And this doesn't go that far. Alright. What was that hitch? Understood. Moving out. We see nothing. We have a look okay. over here. <laughs> Over here, over here, I guess. We'll do. Getting it done. I hate that, that one, time? that little car shed over there. It's always in the way, and there's no good places to get cover or anything. Maybe I should become a tour guide after this. I'm good at acting like I know where the hell I'm going. Let's go with... Uh, it's pretty awkward, actually. I could move into the open to have a peek over here, but that could be bad. Closing on target position now. Oh, there they are. What do we got? Double sectoid snack. That's pretty bad, actually, for them. Uh, let's just move up here for now. And over here. Harris, have a peek up 
this way. Oh, is it a uh, snipey snack as well? So if we get close to them, they are dunsky. Okay. Let's see if we can't find. Yep. I have eyes on the enemy. Uh, I didn't get to see what that was. I think there was a gunner. Heading there now. That snake really, really likes its hissing right now. I would love to use this height advantage, but I don't want to wake up both groups at the same time. Let's get our grenadier over here. That I'm going the wrong way again. And I do want to get a look over here. They probably won't patrol Copy that. that far. Still can't see that much. We got an officer, I think a gunner, I think two faceless. So it's really the second squad that's a lot more scary. On the other hand, this snack squad could be bad if we don't get them at short range. For some reason I still can't see where they are. It's actually pretty off-putting right now. It means I can't see a good spot to move this guy. Moving on target location. I could move him to this corner here. He could jump out through that window, but... That's not going to be good if we have to move him around before the ambush. Confirmed. Oh, he's on the prize. I don't want to go here and potentially get stuck. As you can see, what I was talking about with this little car shed thing, there's nowhere good to Moving park to someone here. Position. Scanning. They continue patrolling. Uh, one of us is very stuck. I don't like it. How many people have line of sight to... That's, that's a problem. Alright. I think the odds that we get forced to fight next turn are uncomfortably high. Confirmed. So let's get in position to, to make something of it. This could actually be very, very bad. Depends on how far from the road they'll go. They don't usually go very far from it. I think these three are going to stay where they are. We're not going to get an overwatch shot from our grenadier. I don't want him in a position where he'll get stuck if they're coming back. So Kinda this should be good. okay. And... We're fine, actually. All right. Let's have a peek okay. and see exactly what we're up against over here. Why am I not able to see... Okay, that is very oddly specific. Um, it's a little sketchy, but I could... Oh, here we go. Park over here, behind this tiny little stick. Stealthy. Alright, we have Gunner, I think that's an Engineer, as opposed to a flamethrower, a, a flame grenade thrower. We got Engineer, Gunner, Officer, that's not too bad. 
double uh, double faceless though, and this time, wait, is it double faceless? No, it's not double faceless. Wait, what the? What? Oh, that's just camouflage. I thought, I thought this person had no legs. Uh, yeah, for some reason we don't see line of sight to them to like shoot them or something, but we do have double faceless to deal with over here. I think what I want to do is open up with a grenade on that group. Which means I'm going to have to pull this guy all the way around to get that done. Focus. I'm on it. On Overwatch. Or I could have just waited a turn, I guess. All right. Could you climb this first so you don't break something? Everyone's quiet, tell me what to do. And I think we'll get everyone around this side. On the move. Like we did last uh rendezvous All mission. Oh, I don't like that I can't see them now. But I'm sure I saw that this was safe. Yeah. Let's play it super safe and move back here. Time to motor. And just confirm I can see all of them before we move this guy. How's his aim? 67. Pretty bad. Good health. Uh. I mean, actually, for a rebel, not that good health. But good health, decent mobility. No special abilities. I think I'll park you here. Roger that. And then dash everyone across. Maybe I can get burned, stabbed, and poisoned before the day is be done. Off. And we'll stay here. Overwatch. All right, let's get in position behind them as well. Move, move, move. And Sten gun over here. How's your aim? Pretty good. No need to ask twice. And you can probably stay right here. I could put you right. Nope, that's not safe. Right here. Scanning. Alright, I think those snakes are coming back, like, next turn or the turn after. We should probably wait till they complete their patrol uh, one more time. How much range does this grenade launcher have? Uh, a little bit more than we need from this spot. So, if I want heavy cover, this is going to be it. But really, I want range from the Faceless. Well, I think we want to make sure we kill the Faceless on the first turn regardless. What the hell? I thought we'd been seen. Let's get you a little bit closer. Like probably 
way over here. And should I do it this turn or should I wait? If they come all the way back here, I might have to move. I mean, that's no big deal. They're still not in sight. Um, can I take a peek? Of course. There they are. Okay, that's good information. Uh, let's park over here and maybe we can see which way they go. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I checked. That could have been really bad. Would you consider Phoenix Point as a game for your rotation? Or are you firmly an XCOM guy? Is Phoenix Point that, like, XCOM spiritual successor? I might give it a go someday, but I don't know whether I'll stream it or not. Um, so I think I just want to wait for these guys to go almost to the other side of the map. Say two or three more turns. Yeah, one more. And we'll move our Grenadier over here. I don't care. So there's a good chance they'll lose a whole turn looking for us. Is Phoenix Point the game made by the original Long War guys? I don't know. Do I want anyone to Overwatch? Hmm. Why do I hear Snake? It, it felt like it was over here. But we know they must be like here. No, I don't think we do want any Overwatches this time. Maybe this guy. 73 aim, but it's not a strong weapon. Get behind the heavy cover over here. No, I think we. We don't need overwatch shots against the baseless, and they are by far the biggest threat. And for the other stuff, we can throw grenades if we have to. Okay. I have to blow everything up! It's the only way to prove I'm not crazy! Gunner was killed, trooper, corpse dropped. Okay, that's just the gunner down. Three hit points on each of these guys. Kind of wish I'd gone for Overwatch, actually. Except, no, the Faceless are much more dangerous. Although, Freeman's in a position to get flanked by the officer at this rate. We can definitely kill that guy. What kind of stats do we have here? 79%? 5 health on the big one, uh, on the other one. Not, I don't really have a spot to move up to for cover here. So I guess first thing... well, I was going to say first thing we do is take a... 79%, but... I can grenade these two again. And I think I probably should. Okay. Get them both Grenade. down to one shot health. So far, so good. Please don't miss the 
fantastic. Uh, who's got the better odds here? 78 and 75. You've also got worse damage. We only need two damage. I could move him closer, but I don't want to bunch up here. 78%, please kill Faceless. Fantastic. And I can point blank probably execute Engineer. The only thing I'm scared of here is obviously the officer. He's going to grenade. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, he went for the two... The two very tanky... Uh... Rebels. And now we can just kill him. Nice. So. Now we have to think about where our snack. Uh, two sectoids, one snack. I'd love to just walk someone up here to kill this guy, but they might be, like, here. There's a chance they've been moving around this way, but I don't think they could have moved that far. But I thought I heard them earlier. I could park this guy behind the heavy cover, and we'll get potentially some information. Well, the absence of seeing them is information. Hmm. Maybe I should just use another grenade to kill the officer. We've got three more. I think I should. And we'll be a bit safe ah. with line of sight. Okay, time for juggling lessons. First lesson is to just grab the ball. Oh, what's this? Nice. Let's do this. So here it is. And we overwatch. I'll get that thing next turn, I think. Roger that. They'll be here pretty soon. There they are. Just a graze, but at least it's not nothing. Sniper Snake is in about the worst spot as far as we're concerned. Mind control? Resisted. Only got disoriented. Oh, they have an overwatch on the sectoid. Okay. How much can the sectoid do? 3 to 4 plus 2. 6 damage tops. That's more than I thought. And I really need to get some pressure on that snipey snake. Basically, XCOM with a lot of quality of life things and expanded options, even the plot is similar. The aliens just come from the ocean, not space. Yeah, I saw a review of it. It looks pretty cool. Zinda, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't want to waste a flashbang on not removing mind control or a zombie or something. Uh, but also I can't reach, so there's that. Can't actually reach to shoot at anything. Oh, period. With this guy this turn. Um, why can't I point here? There's like... Okay, it is possible. 
I can get low cover versus low cover against the sniper snack. I think it's probably better if I just take the item. How much damage can the sniper snack do? 8 plus 3. It's pretty nasty. I can one shot anything. I could get Freeman up here and not be able to reach with a grenade. I could go on kind of a flanking mission, but his movement is not that good. Pretty low movement on our wounded. I was afraid of this, but I'm st I, I, I'm still adamant that it was correct to ambush the the double faceless double faceless officer gunner. Pretty nasty. Who's got flashbangs? You do. You do. You do. And that's a smoke. Hmm. Can I sprint around this way? I could run this overwatch through heavy cover. It's almost guaranteed to miss. Also, it's guaranteed to not kill him outright. And it's going to flank him, so he's going to want to move. And the sniper snack can't see him. I think that's a pretty good move. Three damage. That's unfortunate, but not too bad. And now we can... I don't really want to get my Grenadier mind controlled. You're already... you've got red fog. If I hide here, they can't actually see him, but maybe they could find a flank. But it looks like they couldn't, actually. There's a ladder there. They'd have to flank themselves. Apparently there's line of sight through here. Okay, never mind. This guy can't try... Oh, one of them can't try a mind control. It's this guy. Can't try a mind control next turn, so only one of them is going to pull that off. Solid copy. We're going to spam getting people in range to flashbang move, move, move. with heavy cover. And moving this way actually really sucks. Freeman may as well grab the loot. And both of our wounded can be over here where the snipey snack can't see them. Little bit lucky, not very. Here comes another shot. Oh, now they've got a mind control or a zombie. Okay, mind control is potentially the uh, mind control succeeding is actually potentially the best outcome there, if we can kill this guy. Uh, that's a bit of an if. We've got two assault rifles, seventy three aim, sixty aim. Can't get close. And I would have to use both of them to have a chance. I think I should just flashbang instead. We can flashbang both of the sectoids. So that's no nonsense from them this turn or the next. And they're pretty much useless. Even if I did kill this guy outright, this guy would get some nonsense next turn. So I'm thinking that's a pretty good way to go. And we flank 
We can't actually flank Snipey Snack. Unless uh, this gets destroyed by a grenade, but I don't think anything can destroy it. Just a little bit of cover. Regardless, let's get some heavy cover in grenade range. Smash through that glass like it's nothing. I could disorient. And then he can't spit or anything, and he's very, very unlikely to hit a shot. With everyone in heavy cover. And then we can move in very aggressively next turn. I could go back here. Oh, I like this. I don't even need to uh, disorient him. Good to go. If, you if you flank a snipey snack, it will move and not snipe. That was supposed to be a regular grenade. Oh well. It's probably fine. These guys don't have AoE, so I could go here for a flank. Um, I want heavy, right. even with it disoriented, I want heavy defense, heavy cover against the snipey snack. And let's hit both of these with a grin. Go down. Oh, nice. Well, that... That is a guaranteed execution. 100%. And we still have heavy cover. Snipey Snack gonna double move, even? It's still... It's still flanked. We got a 74%. We can make it higher by moving closer. Um, we need to deal with this Overwatch. Where's our Grenadier again? Oh yeah, we can just straight up hit this guy. Just like we did last turn. Follow the happy ball! What can it be? Let's go take a look! Beautiful. That is a lot of damage for hitting the edge. Uh, but that's why we have tandem warheads. Which I kind of forgot we had. <laughs> Very nice. Alright, now we basically just move in and execute Snack. Moving to position. 82. Very nice. Uh, with that little health, we can just do this. Fantastic. Enemy eliminated. Confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Excellent. It's actually functionally a flawless victory because the rebels... I'm pretty sure they heal instantly. They don't have healing time. I love your sound pack. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's, uh, Freeman's mind. There's a good little video previewing it. No promotion. Unfortunate. We get another scope. That's like our third. A uh, couple of crappy expanded mags. Two cores. That's good. Two faceless corpses. Officer, sectoid, sectoid viper. And two troopers. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. Alright, what missions do we have cooking right now? We got 70% on extraction, two days until 100%. I can't remember. Oh, Advent Strength 1, that is clearly as weak as it gets. This one was Strength 4 before, I think. 12 hours until must launch light moderate. Wait, what? Uh, I might have to boost this one. 
I thought this was like extremely light with the maximum with the maximum infiltration time. Well, you might have to see how that one goes. East Asia has a new recruit. And I think I, I said this before, but I think we'll go for one more before we um before we change to something else. Okay, eighty five percent light. I think if I boost this it'll be very light still, but we have um we have six soldiers against a maximum of twelve. Yep. And we do need a scientist. Kind of. So let's -a go. Lucky seven? Lucky seven. I don't follow. Uh, but that's actually going to be it for today. Gone a little bit over time. Next week we'll be continuing with the... I'm going to leave myself a note in the name of the save, actually, so I don't start out confused as to whether it's light or very light. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Okay. Positions concealed. At least we don't have to run far to the evac. Well, actually, with the shape of the building, it's not as close as it looks. But it's still not that bad. Anyway, let's uh, save that for now. Uh, rescue, uh, stream, rescue, side, 10 to 12 enemies. There we go. Alright, let's see who's playing some XCOM today. Preferably some, uh, Long War if we can, I guess. Have a good day, thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out, Crimson. What do we got? Legendary Iron Man Long War 2. Seems good. Uh, that appears to be the only thing similar. Let me just check that we can chat there and stuff. Followers only chat? I don't know about that one, Chief. Over 200 months? Good grief. What do we have here? Perma Lost World. Perma Sealed Armor. Rapid Response. Sounds kind of interesting. Mech Game? What is Mech Game? All right, let's give this one a go. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. Uh, for Factorio, that is. Well, for anything for that matter. That's what the Blueprints are for. Tomorrow we'll be continuing with Oxygen Not Included, then back to some Space Exploration and Crestorio 2. Uh, for a few days. Take care, Zikra. Thanks for hanging out. And, uh, yeah, I guess let's go.
and then you need the other one when the first one's sick of your shit, you know? Like, that's, like, give him a break. <laughs> <laughs>